Although I've been told it's Nanny Papa. I thought there was more details about the potential bad thing that's there. Is that? Right. I can't Um, remember if that was a private conversation that I had with somebody or if that was public knowledge. Um, I guess it's public now. So, (laughs) so she did tell you that, you know, the, the once great city was destroyed by a creature that um, kind of slowly dismantled uh, the town one by one. But she knows what kind of creature too, right? Because I thought I had a feeling that she told me what that was. Um. And I thought it was bad news, but it was very evil, and I wanted to strike it yeah, down. Yeah, she she said it was she said it was evil, likely some sort of hag. Yeah, that's what it was. And uh, since it's on the way to, kind of on the way to Oralonga, um, and what I'll do is I'll pull everyone over to the other page, or to the player's map. Just give me one second here. I gotta get my notes. Oh, there's not going to be a test, Brian. Don't worry. Oh, all my nicknames are everybody. Oh, damn it. You get rid of it before I can copy it. (laughs) That's okay. I'll I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll take us back there. Um, so basically, you guys know that Umbala is here, and that's kind of where you're heading. Uh, the party is making your way fast, walking past, going downtown. Um, <laughs> and your guide has told you that Oralunga is kind of in this direction. And you guys have decided to make your way down river instead of plodding through the jungle. Lord knows why. And we're hoping sure. that Camp Righteous is a halfway stopping point, right? I can't remember. She yeah. told us that, or if it was Camp Vengeance. Um, she said that I believe she would have told you guys that Camp Righteous um is an outpost, was an outpost. Um, but Camp Vengeance is kind of like the the bigger fortification in the area. Okay. Um, and that sort of Camp Vengeance is run, I believe, by uh, the Iron Fist. Is that what they're called? Um, anyways, you're not there yet, but you'll find out. Not quite relevant at the moment. So if my notes on the right are correct, we're about one day away from Camp Righteous. Uh, yes, you guys are about one day away from Camp Righteous. Okay. Which means they're probably a good four days from Camp Vengeance. Likely. You you travel you travel about one I believe it's uh you can travel about two tiles on the river. Yeah, and yeah, so traveling by jungle, you move one hex a day. Uh, traveling by river, you tra- you you you're able to make it too, just because it's a little more efficient. Yeah. But the river kind of doesn't flow in either direction. It's basically a lazy, stagnant river. Um, whether that's due to geotectonics or uh, fluid dynamics or just <laughs> magic, you don't know. One one of the above. Um, any other questions that I can, that you can ask now? Did we level? <laughs> uh, no. no, you did not level. Okay. Not yet. It's only been like two sessions. I think oh, the session look at was... that, Brian. The shoe's on the other foot now, isn't it? <laughs> I did it just to kind of like carry on Rand's tradition, you know? Well, you know, when you spend uh, an entire session in the port trying to buy stuff, you know, that kind of eats into the XP you could have been earning. I mean, not that you don't get XP for social encounters. But... Yeah, I see how you work. I, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just saying. Um, all right, and just make sure everyone's behind their mic. I see Wayne is here um, talking about the worst Netflix adaption ever, uh, which I have not seen and will not watch because of that. Uh, Anthony. Woo! I know Brian's here. Uh, Osul. Check, check. Yeah, and I heard Robert complain about Brian, so I know he's here. <laughs> I messaged Rich, but did not hear back. All right, that's okay. We can we can get started, and if uh, Fred joins us, we can just say he was packed out in the back of the party barge. The party barge is that the one? Is that the one with um, with Ticker? 
Uh, it depends on what your definition of a party is. Well, we got our two canoes written right there on the map I, right now. I yeah. know. I'm just messing. Okay. Um, and Brian, I'm just going to move us back to that page so you can, in fact, get all your nicknames for everyone. Oh, I got to scroll down, evidently. There we go. Okay, can I? What? It won't let me copy them? Oh, stupid roll 20. Control C. Control V. Nope, doesn't work. I'm so disappointed. Oh, well. Someone else is moving it all around. Yeah, I am, because I'm the dungeon master. <laughs> you can use the snip and clip thing. Oh, we have a rich. Oh, and we have a rich. Yes. Yes, you do. All right, uh, I'm going to... Brian, just for you, I'm going to copy and paste that onto the player's map. Sweet. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Thank God it was Friday. This was a long week. I had a midterm today. For some of us. E Sorry, what was that, Rich? You're a bit quiet. Oh, Maybe I said, is that any better? Yeah, that's getting better. All right. No, I said, or day 71 of captivity for some of us. <laughs> yes, that is true. Frederico, so glad you could join us. Hey, Brian. Yep. I took a picture of that. I put it in the uh, uh, Discord chat. Oh, all the nicknames? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's also on the uh, on the player's map uh, as well. Um, okay. So if everyone's ready, we can set in. Do -do -do. Oh, we're going to have our straw vote to, to uh, nix the meat grinder mode? <laughs> no, no, there is, there's no vote. I, I think you're the only one who's not into meat grinder. What would be the point of voting for that at the very, very beginning if you could just change it any time? <laughs> yeah. Because it could I, change where I wanted. <laughs> and what you want is to not die? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I recommend you stay in the back and use Tukuk as the official trap finder slash bait. Have you been watching how Mary's plays? <laughs> That's exactly Trex, what she's been Trex, doing. Let Trex run in. Let Trex run in. He likes it. Um, I, like, I, is this what we're telling Wayne? Oh, yeah. Trex goes and pushes all the buttons. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Um, that he, he runs up to bushes and yells, reveal yourself just so he can fight. He is a druid, after all. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All I'm thinking right now is a druid. I'm the Lorax, and I speak for the trees. Litter again, I'll break your fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> is, the is the guy playing the character still drunk like uh, Rand was last time he played Trek? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dr maybe, but not as good at uh, accents as Rand is. So. Uh, that's okay. We welcome trying. Trying very hard. <laughs> okay. Well, I was kind of wondering where he got the nickname Woody, but I don't know if I want to go there. Uh, that was, uh, that's up to Brian. You can, you can ask Brian off, uh, in a private message. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, private Brian, if he it's does Mary's. That. That's the nickname Sorry. Mary's gave everybody. Right, right. Mary's. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're all waking up bright eyed and bushy tailed after you got attacked by an Alice, by a pair of Allosaurs in what has been the first, I guess, carnivorous like creatures you have spotted not carnivorous like creatures, but the first carnivorous dinosaurs you guys have really seen on your journey. You've seen the stegosauruses and the triceratops sort of throughout Port Nianzaru as beasts of burden. Um, but now you're seeing the more feral side, non-domesticated dinosaurs. Today is... So, yeah, so you wake up, it's, you know... Uh, a hot day but it's not exceptionally hot like some of the other days you've had and there's a light rain uh, in the morning as you guys are are on shore um, kind of getting ready you can choose to continue to take the boats down river which Eku says is probably the best idea and uh, or you could walk through the jungle your choice 
Not and good. of course, you probably want to put on your yourself to make sure that you're not going to get bit by bugs. And I believe everybody should have solve right now. <laughs> we did solve up at the ink, didn't we? Yeah, but it needs to be reapplied occasionally. Yeah, well, every day. You've been solving. Solve all your problems away. Just imagine Yonder waking up with a bunch of welts all over his glistening body. Glistening. <laughs> glistening. It's hot hair, you know? Right. <laughs> oh. all right um, I'm also going to collect all the fresh water that uh, was collected with the uh, fresh water collectors. Rain collectors. Ooh, so, it's been four, catch. so it's been four days and we should have 36 solve left? Uh, yep, yeah, it's 36 solve. Perfect, yeah, um, I'm good. Okay, and you're collecting water oh, and everyone. water skins and kegs and whatever else we have. For yeah, I'll, I'll say you get enough to fill everyone's water skins with uh, two rations, which is enough for a day. Pickaxe right. got his barrel rolled back on the canoe. <laughs> and just as a reminder for everybody that Mary's can create water, and I think somebody else could as well. I just got to Might have been Fred. That's me. I just got to remember if I actually have that prepared or not. All right, now I do not have it prepared. So I would have had that discussion the night before. If we're getting to a point where I need to create it, you guys just let me know before I take a long rest. So I don't have it prepared right now. Is that a ritual too? I have to still have to have it prepared, but no, it's not a ritual. No, that is a level one spell. All right, and so you I guys do not have it prepared, so <laughs> that's why I'm using the freshwater collector. Mm. So you guys managed to collect just enough to top off your water skins as you set off uh, down the river uh, for another day of adventuring. Well, and, some... uh, go ahead, sorry. So I was saying, and we are one day away from, we're expected to arrive, sorry, at uh, Camp Righteous. Well, no one's expecting you, but... No, no, uh, we Eku, are expecting to arrive there. Yeah, Eku, Eku says you're probably about a day's out from uh, Camp Righteous. Give or take uh, river currents and comings and goings. And the fact that most of the... most pe Like, there's been a failure to map the interior of uh, Cholt due to just dense terrain and dangers. So, you know, as good as any about a day. All right, so we doing our same uh, routine here, fellas. Me and Cookie, and uh, I forget who I had in the, in, the, in the canoe with me. It was me and Cookie and somebody else. Yeah, it has been a while. I don't remember. Uh, Nalgan, Woody, and Yonder were in the other boat, I think. So would that be Fred here? Yep. No, Fred's uh, here. I don't know what y'all talking oh. about. Me and Cookie are ready to go in the canoes. Y'all gonna stay on the... Okay, there you go. <laughs> Come on, Eku. You're supposed to be leading us down here. Right. Get to leading. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I had, I, had the, I had the furry in the boat with me, I think. That's Eku's character. And uh, the Adonis will uh, just go over there. <laughs> Great. Okay, so you guys make your way down the river, and why don't you guys give me or give me um, two uh, survival? No, yeah, survival checks. It's, is this for everybody, or just whoever's rowing, or how's this work? I forget. Um, kind of whoever's keeping point in the boat, and you know the the bowman, so to speak, I guess. So I. The ones watching for rocks, etc. I always went in the front because my perception was a little bit higher than the other people that were in our boat. Yeah, so I was trying to remember if, if I should be rowing or if I should be looking because I think Cookie it's like, sucks at both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie sucks at – Tickook sucks at both. Tickook's thing was uh, popping out of his barrel and trying to fry um, the flying snakes. Speaking of which, are there any flying snakes around? <laughs> uh, you can give me a perception check. All right, so I guess Mary's is doing the survival check. Uh, you see some flying snakes, but they're not flying near you. 
they're not flying over the boat, I can't fry them for dinner? <laughs> nope, you can't fry them for dinner. Okay. Well, I do have a proficiency with water vehicles, so maybe I should be rowing and not looking. Uh, That's fine. I I just rolled survival for the front boat. Okay. And uh, okay, I think the front boat's all about that that rolling. Uh, Everybody surviving. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're you're good, Don. Um, okay, so yeah, so you guys uh, make your way down uh, the river, and for the most part, it's a pretty, um, you know. You catch kind of the normal sights you'd expect to see. Uh, some monkeys in the trees here or there. Some smaller dinosaurs along the shore. But nothing exceptionally out of the ordinary. Um, as the sun rises into the sky, uh, it does get a bit hotter, but the rain cuts out. Uh, and it's a clear day. Sounds well, like the first day in like three days. We haven't had rain. Yeah, you get that it's a pretty damp place. I mean, it is a jungle after all. All right, here come the skeeters, I bet. <laughs> uh, you do hear some buzzing, but um, the small bugs, anyway, seem to, to he pay no mind to you. Um, you, of course, see some butterflies fluttering about, and one even might land on the, the front of your boat. Oh, good there's... lord, no. Cookie, stop. <laughs> Leave it alone. But Oops, I was I was flipped. I was muted it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Tick is just gonna like you see him snap in his mouth. <laughs> uh, and so so you continue, and Eku kind of you know points out some of the the things um, on the river that you know you guys might not be familiar with that she thinks ah you know these uh, these non locals might be interested in. Um, maybe warns you to watch out for some hanging vines here or there as, uh, you know, they may whip out and, and lash at you. I forgot about the worst travel guide ever, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lonely Planet hasn't been invented yet, so you got you get what you get. Um, <laughs> should have read the uh, TripAdvisor rating. Um as you, you make your way through, she says, uh, we shouldn't be too far away from Camp Righteous. It it should be uh, close. And um, she she keeps a she keeps an eye out. And a little later in the evening, um, she points to the the shore um, to the south of you guys. Or sorry, not to the south, to the east. Um, and she says, look, but be quiet. And anyone who looks, I need you to give me a uh, wisdom, a perception check with disadvantage, please. Oh, great. So do you want to allow all of us to do this or just certain ones? Anyone who, who chooses to, to look and not be distracted. So it's not and not be distracted. <laughs> wisdom check. Or perception, if you're proficient at it. Yeah, that I have. Okay, I'm not worried about rolling now. Okay. Um, Fred, you see... Um, you can kind of make out retreating into the, the trees... Um, Five creatures, and and they look, they're they look humanoid, but they do have some, uh, uh, some finer features. Let me see if I have the description here. Sorry, I didn't have it pulled up. Ticker, does Ticker see anything? Look, but remain quiet. If I <laughs> you're in a barrel. You don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> so all you're gonna hear piping out of the barrel. What do you guys see? What do you guys see? Cookie, you can down. roll perception, but you roll with super double secret disadvantage. 
<laughs> hey, hey, there could be a knot hole in the barrel. You just see like one lizard That's eye. That's why. Out. That's why you get to roll. <laughs> um, you make out, and I'm gonna put this up on everyone's screen. Um, but really, it's only for uh, Frederico. For, <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> with everybody that's around him quietly because she said look but remain silent yeah um so that's you kind of make out a form like that uh both male and female um okay serpentine the trees pardon just in the trees where they yeah. were okay. five so of they, them so they were the the way it, it kind of or sorry um you you see them and as you all kind of begin to to turn and look they they retreat back into the trees um eku would let you know that they may have been uh gathering information um or out seeking because normally uh they aren't um, you know, they're not commonly found this far north in the jungle anyway. They mm -hmm. uh, tend to congregate further south and are, are associated with, um, you know, kind of uh, a cult, so to speak. But uh, she has a feeling they may have been gathering information for the the leader of the cult mm -hmm. who uh and they're a cult to the what she says is the night serpent is her understanding but eku's telling people in our boat this stuff right uh yeah 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 she would she would tell you guys and maybe you guys kind of got your boats close enough together that um she would share that with you okay she says it's it's uh, the cult's very secretive, um, and she's not uh, very sure uh, what exactly it is. But she does know that south in the jungle they have a larger presence and uh, are associated with some pretty. Are there some very mean rumors? Not mean rumors, but uh, rumors she's heard about the way some of their followers look. And that they take on snake-like appearances. Well, the only one I saw looked like a floozy. So let's just see clear there. Yonder, you keep your eyes to the north. <laughs> I was going to say, I've seen similarly clad women in port. I'm wondering if they're the welcome wagon. <laughs> e Eku says, yeah, they might welcome you. But once you go, you never leave. Do they just keep to the the east there? They they are normally to the south, but you know they they sometimes try to get into Port Nianzaru and uh, find sacrifices, people recruit, cause mayhem and trouble. They oppose us being here. Well, I oppose them being here, too. Bunch of heathen looking. Never mind. Let's just, let's just keep keep clear of them. Let's, let's get to the Camp Righteous where we're going, right? Yeah. It's, it would be wise to keep your eyes open for such things. You never know what you'll encounter in the jungle. And who uh, the jungle speaks to. Well, they obviously saw us, right? Uh, yeah, I would, I would say they, they very likely saw you or spotted you guys. And should we... How be... long... Go Sorry, ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, um, whether they just kind of saw you and ran off or they have been following you, uh, that's unclear. Okay. But Eku would share that. She's heard that they kind of do sometimes make patrols to, to gather information about what's going on in the jungle as they have a vested interest in such things. Well, no one else is going to say anything. Mary's will suggest that we kind of like do double, double row 
double take, whatever you want to call it. Let's uh, double up our pace. Speed up. Yeah. Can can I reach a, a paddle from the barrel? <laughs> no, not you, Cookie. You just sit there and, <laughs> and watch the watch the sky for bugs. Okay, okay. He looks up. He's <laughs> attentively. He's got lightning bolt, uh, uh, fire bolt ready to no, cast. No, do not shoot them. <laughs> just watch them, okay? But how I eat? You'll get. You'll, we'll eat when we get to Camp Righteous. I promise. Take a hungry. I know it. He's gonna start gnawing on the side of the boat. <laughs> he's gonna start gnawing on the barrel. Next time you see him, he's gonna have splinters in his teeth. All right. So. Um. So yeah. So you guys uh, continue on. Those of you that are are keeping lookout, um, don't see. Don't pick up, anyways, any um, further intrusion of. Uh, the these creatures that you saw, um, and sort of it resumes to to the regular jungle functionality. Uh, you guys eventually see down the river uh, two boats and a dock, um, presumably. Of what is of um, uh, you know where where Eku points out is Camp Righteous. Okay. Does it appear to be like populated? There's like been nothing moving there. A bunch of dead things. What do we see or notice? Um. What? Uh, how are you approaching? Are you approaching slowly and gazing? Are you rowing right up to the shore? <laughs> this is where I'm going to rely on the expertise of my guide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Kev hates us. You... <laughs> so she points out it, it might be good to approach just so that if there's any um, sentries from the order of the gauntlet uh or, or guards they you know it's not like we're rowing up on them and making a charge um as you guys approach uh camp righteous you start to see or what looks like tents as you get closer begin to look a bit more frayed and tattered uh, you come upon a riverside camp strewn with wreckage. The tents are moldy and tattered, and all permanent structures appear to have been burned to the ground. Two intact rowboats are tied off to a short dock. Um, as you guys get closer, you notice to the north of the camp is a ridge, built into which is an 80-foot tall stone statue carved to look like a man with a crocodile on his back. Between the statue's feet is a stone archway, and uh, that's kind of uh, what you see from shore. Can I can I see this through my knot hole in the barrel? <laughs> um, give me a perception check with disadvantage, just to see if you're uh, facing the right way in the barrel. Ah, no, he doesn't even look at the hole. He's like, I see nothing, and he's staring at one of the staves. Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel. Fear that anyone's been home here for a while. Maybe we should keep moving. Uh, hang on one second here. Let I'm... me just grab your characters. Sorry, go ahead, Brian. No, I was gonna say I was just waiting for the Australian accented f folk to see the guy with a big crocodile's back go crikey. Come on, Wayne, uh -huh. get in character now. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. I think you're going to end up... Can I throw that shrimp on the barbie? <laughs> I approve. <laughs> Me too. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. So I'm going to plop you guys right... There you go. Okay. I think everybody should be on the map by now. I'm just going to pull everyone over once I uh, get your guys' tokens. There we go. Up, up, up. 
So this is kind of what you guys uh, see. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is, Wayne. What is his fair dink? <laughs> I guess I don't know my Australian. Oh, man, I got an Australian slang website I just looked up. We're going to have a long night. <laughs> Brand oh, does the same thing. <laughs> the exact same thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is kind of the site that you guys uh, come upon. Um, I don't know if you can see it now. Uh, I may have to yep. do a shift click. Uh, I'm, I'm still searching for it. Top left side. Oh, it's all black to me. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> all let black. Me, uh, okay, let me just uh, reveal some area. I wasn't sure if it was hidden or revealed yet. It's not it all black for me. It's not all black for me. It must be his token. Uh, yeah. Looks good for me too. Okay. Uh, let me let me try and fix your token, uh, Brian. Sir Brian, you're blinded. Did you not roll the saving throw? Well, she doesn't have dark vision, so if it's supposed to be dark here, I guess not. But um, it's not really dark, but it's getting dark. Um, well, is Woody is also in the dark. Uh, Thirty. As is spread. Uh, Tikka can see all. Tikka is boss. <laughs> the dwarf okay. can see all as well. But you can be boss, Tikka. There we it's go. Okay. I can see now. Okay. Just... You might need to fix Woody, too. Or Trex. Okay, you can see Tikka, Trex... Okay, so you should be able to see now. Fred also is blind. Who? Fred. Fred, okay. Let me just... The Fred Pilot Roberts. So Camp Righteous is on the bad side of the river. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, bad is, is purely um, subject, subjective here. Well, that's the side where we, where we or she saw the, the, the scantily clad lizard woman. Or women. Correct. Okay. Well, and you, uh, and you know, you don't know that they're a lizard woman. Like, this is a progressive jungle here. <laughs> lizard people. There you go. Actually, more like people Lip. with lizard like features. You should be able to see now, Wayne. They were lizard cats. Exactly. Something along those lines. Um, anyways, so you pull up, and this is kind of, uh, what you can see. Okay, so I don't remember you saying anything about a, a campfire. Is this actually it's not lit, right? Um, it might be smoking, but it wasn't uh visible from say the it it's not as ablaze as that makes it appear to be. So if, like uh, it looked like maybe someone was here shortly short time ago? Ah, uh, I, I don't know. Are you approaching the fire to find out? <laughs> well, can I can I bring my smoke barrel coming from it? I can answer that yeah. question for you. <laughs> Yeah, but I can still I... cannot see. I still have a black screen. Uh, okay, hang on. Yeah, same, same here for for Trex. I just reloaded, but it's still still dark. Okay. Uh, there we go. Ah, that's because I didn't click. I has to say. Oh, now I can see. That's yeah. a big foot. I bet there's another. There's no you think there's there. two feet? Maybe there's where, three feet. Where there's one, there's always two. Uh, could be. Um. So yeah. So that's uh, kind of what you see. Um, Eku would let you know. Um, that uh, the statue is actually um, a statue dedicated to a. a a Chultan uh, tale or, or folklore or a figure in local mythology. Um, and she says she can tell you the story if you guys like. Well, Mary wants us to look around for, for tracks to see what kind of people were possibly here last. You said okay. this fire is recent but not currently burning? It's not currently burning. Um, there's some smoke from it. Okay, I'm going to investigate it. 
Okay. <laughs> Gonna be scratching my head all night at Wayne's little uh, <laughs> things he puts in chat. <laughs> so I'm just having some fun. Did you get hit hit it hard in the head now, dear? You're talking some nonsense. Let me have a look around here and see if I see any funny looking footprints. Now, Cookie, stay right here. I don't want to get them confused with your little feet. Cookie, <laughs> you got me calm, Cookie, now. Damn it, stop doing that. <laughs> Tick, Tick is totally going to be like checking out this uh, this tent. Damn it, Cookie. What did I just say? <laughs> All right. Um, so, first things uh, first there, uh, Maris, uh, <laughs> why don't you give me a, a survival check? To see what what kind of tracks and how many tracks you pick up. For who? Yes. Uh, survival check for to see if there's any tracks. For Mary's, right? Yeah, for Mary's. Yeah, it's in chat. Oh, okay. Right, eleven. I did that. Um, you notice it's kind of hard to to discern specifically tracks. You see, there's been some dinosaur track well large cr creature tracks some smaller <laughs> creature track and possibly some goblin tracks um but you're having a hard time because of all the rain kind of figuring out a date on um on when uh when it was okay well i'll share or that when... with those the closest to me i'm not going to yell it but whoever's close to me i'll share that with like, is it Tikuk? Is Tikuk the closest one to you? Um, and you're gonna search the uh, the tents, uh, Tikuk. Yep, the, starting with the one I'm right next to. Oh wow, there's two of me. There's this is of... this is this door. Going in. Oh, there's two of everybody. Oh yeah, I see that now. What is yeah? What is going on here? Ooh. Second right. Tikuk, we'll go check out the other tent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I know what happened. I think I, I copy and paste it twice. It's fine. Uh, uh, Lord, we don't need two yonders. No. Three tukuks still doesn't make a single humanoid. <laughs> they do if they're wearing a trench coat. Oh, yeah, that's, that is true. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um... Yeah, and and Eku uh, Eku will tell you that that is the um, uh, you know that you know this they call this the house of the crocodile. Um, so so as you as you look about the tent. Uh, Tikuk, you notice that everything is like there's nothing really like there's some furniture that looks smashed um, and some other larger items but there doesn't appear to be anything small or, or grabbable left that's not trashed um and that, as you as you look about, you don't really see anything uh, of particular value in uh, in this tent, anyways. Uh, okay. Um, is there any like food scraps or anything? Um, no. No. Tikuk's belly's either... gonna rumble, and he's gonna he's gonna head for the next tent. Okay, it's either been eaten by um, creatures or. Decayed or, or was taken away. Um, Will, are you kind of still looking out, or are you doing anything? Yeah, I'm going to be following them. Okay. He's standing by himself, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking good. Uh, Nalgren, what were you, what were you going to do in in Trex? I guess. Uh, Nalgren is uh, in behind. Can't see everybody's nameplate, so I don't know who they are. But I'm just sort of flanking and just keeping my eyes open, um, <clears throat> keeping my eyes, having a looking at the little ruins, ruined area that's uh, to my right, and then walking up towards the fire just to see if I can tell how long it's been since it was snuffed out. Okay. Um, 
And uh, are you just kind of pulling your boats up onto shore, or are you just going to let them float away? Well, they're pulled up, aren't don't they? Look pulled up. Yeah, look like they're tied uh, off and everything. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I put that up. They're just my dragon dropped you. I want. Holy to crap! Sure. There's three of them now. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave boats unattended. You get more boats. <laughs> like bunnies. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, of course, we would tie the the boats off. So, so yeah, so the fire you think is is a couple days old. It's it's nothing uh, fresh or new uh, in your books. Mary's gonna take a quick gander at the uh, the rowboats over there, see if they're like even serviceable or are they like rotten or. Uh, yeah, you you can look at them. Uh, from where you're standing, they don't appear to be rotten or or. or broken or anything like that they appear to be okay but i mean it looked like they've been sitting here for like you know months or like there's like no mold or anything growing up on them i mean they just trying to figure out they've been used recently or not um there it looks like there's wear and tear on them from regular usage but you don't see anything that would indicate um neglect or them being tied up for a while okay um but they are tied to the to the post in the bank. Okay. And Iku would have, or Eku, however you say her name, she would have told us what kind of people were here, right? Was it humans? Was it something else? Uh, uh, she she'd let you know that this was um, an outpost um, uh, for the Order of the Gauntlet. Which is what. Um, they are they are basically in Schult, uh as they oppose the undead. Oh. Um, <laughs> that changes everything for Mary's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Order of the Gauntlet. Let me just hear. Is that something that Mary's would have heard of before? Or is it like just only in Schult thing? It's one of the five factions, right? In Faerun? Correct. <laughs> it's uh, them... Uh, the flaming fist, uh, the the green people, and there's a couple of them. But... The lizards. <laughs> okay. The, oh, well, I mean... the emerald enclave. Emerald mean. enclave. Yeah, that's the, the one. flaming fist. Uh, the black uh, something or another. The Zen- uh, Zentarum or whatever. Yeah, Zentarum. The uh, Order of the Gauntlet. Red Wizards of Thay, and. Uh, flaming Fist. Uh, you'd know that, or she would tell you that the Order of the Gauntlet, ever since they've come here, have kind of made it their mission uh, to bring a war against the undead in Chult. Oh, <laughs> Mary's just getting all inspired. Where, um, where are they? You would probably know that uh, the Order of the Gauntlet are followers of um, Torm, Helm, and Tyr. Well, I won't hold that and, against them. And they vow to protect others from depredation of evildoers. Good lord. They're all missing. We must find um, these folks. And at one point, this was their, like, forward operating camp. Or one of their forward operating camps. Because it's on the undead side of the river. Imagine that. Um... So no more signs of like a struggle or, or weapons or blood or anything. I mean, you see slash marks in the tents and various footprints, um, and things were kind of hastily moved. Yeah, you know, so, same footprints like I saw before, like goblins and humans, and you said something else, yeah. with dinosaurs. Exactly. So you kind of you kind of see it all and. Maybe you'd put together that there was a something going on, especially given that there's some large slash marks in uh, the tents that you can see anyway. Good lord. Their tracks. They were killed by Allosaurus. Allosaurus uh, says, holy shit, what is that? <laughs> Eku says, that's probably a, a good idea. Um, Brian, you must be commenting on the animal pen that's uh, just to the north of you with that holy shit comment. <laughs> yes. Um, I recognize that, or is that just like going to freak your shit? Uh, which, which the the large statue in front of you? No, the the whatever this thing is over here in the pen. 
Oh, yes. Um, so you notice the animal pen with uh, a squawking uh, small... I don't know if your character will be familiar with axe beaks. I feel like they're semi-common. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a small fledgling axe beak inside of the enclosures. Well, I'm just going to approach because that's the only living thing that's here. Now, now Woody, are you going to... You going? Oh, I guess I shouldn't leave everybody, uh, fellas. There's a there's a small. You you have a coldie. Let me take a crack at this guy. What what? So, I think that uh, I think that Woody's going to try to talk to this creature. Okay. okay. Woody's talking to the to the to the big uh, bird. Come on. Come on, Cookie. Okay. So I'll do a little squawk 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 squawk. <laughs> Crikey, squawk. <laughs> Okay. Good day, squawk. <laughs> okay, and are you just saying that? Or are you? I think he has communicate with animals. Is a is that a spell he has? I can't remember. So it's circle of the shepherd druid. It says he knows Sylvan and can speak with beasts. And I assume this is a beast, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure axe beaks are a beast. Let me just double check. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not very nice to call somebody a beast. Yeah, exactly. I want to be sure about that. I don't know. Sometimes I don't get mine being called a beast. It depends on... Uh, Dude, what... you're a beast! Like that. Uh, yeah, it is a beast. Um, so yeah, so you talk to it, and it, it, it looks to you, and it lets out like kind of like a panicky type squawk. Um, give me a performance check to see how fluent you are in... Uh, <laughs> Week. And I'll give you advantage because you are a circle of a druid. Okay, performance with advantage. Roger. Mary's just studying this whole thing. He went from talking, was it, there's an avo in your budgie smugglers to squawk, 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 squawk. <laughs> and then you also need to put us on video and you need to do the performance. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we play this game. Didn't he tell you ahead of time? Yeah. yeah. Well, to, I'm, in my, uh, I'm in my budgie smugglers, so I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you, you talk to it, you get it going and it's basically says trapped, separated, want to go. And like, you get like a very panicked vibe from it. (laughs) Gotcha. Wayne gets inspiration. Well, that wasn't Wayne. That was Kev, wasn't it? (laughs) Yeah. Um, and you do notice that in, in the pen, there's its footprints, but there's also what you recognize as a uh, pig footprints. That well, that was his last meal, probably. Uh, <laughs> can I can I persuade him to calm down, perhaps? Uh, you you could, um, but it is his pacing uh, around the the pen. So he's uh, am I catching any kind of images from him or anything about what might have happened here? Um, he. He says um, there is more of them. They left. He stuck. He had bacon. <laughs> and some, some bacon and some bacon run. <laughs> and other other uh, beaks chase after. And no, I know in the picture there's someone riding on the back of this axe beak. I assure you there is not a fledgling orc. Riding on the back of this axe. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to open the pen over here, I guess. That's the door, right? And let him out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you open the pen. And... and take a step back, of course. Good Lord. What are you doing? You, you take a step back, and this thing bolts for freedom like it's, uh, you know, like it's, like it's the Bolt. best thing ever. Like it's bolting for freedom. freedom. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, unless you guys interfere with it, it's just going to run off into the the wilderness of the jungle. Okay, I'm going to relay you know the little bit of information I got from the axe speak to the rest of the party. And it it, it gives you like a little like thanks squawk type of uh, <laughs> squawk, <laughs> like like at the beginning of the first Harry Potter movie. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now wait, you're telling me you can speak with these things? 
He said, well, they're, they're no dumber than a, than a fur bog, I think. So, yeah, sure. I whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. What did you just say there, mister? Oh, he's just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy now. Everything's fine. No worries. No worries. You just insulted me. She's going to whoop your ass. Would you like to be healed later on when you're dying by an axe beak? Uh, he said, I was just funning with you. Uh, the, the, uh, the axe beak is uh, a beast, yeah? So I can speak to beasts. No worries. She's, she's going pissed off. She's walking off now. <laughs> Cranky, <laughs> Sheila. Don't you get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> what is Woody's? Woody half elf? Elf, what is he? Human, right? I oh, guess human. I don't yeah, remember. he's human. Stupid, smelly humans. Come on, Eku, what's in here? we got to find the uh, order. Uh, she says, this is... Uh, and just, just a sec before I go after that. Um, Trax and uh, Fred, as you guys look at this these tents, you notice that there is some blood spatter on them and that the sheeting has been slashed through. Uh, some of it looks like claw marks. Some of it looks like it might have been... Uh, rudimentary um, or like tools of some sort or weapons of some sort I should say oh I lost everybody no. you... uh, no... oh yeah sorry I was just uh, waiting for bodies there's no like chunks of flesh on. Uh, there's just the, the tearing of the tents um, what about in the larger tent any Chests or bags or packs of any kind of belongings? Uh, no, it looks like everything's been um, packed out. Um, Fred, you kind of notice over here that those are, are the latrines of the camp. Um, are they open or do they have closing latching doors? Or they simple, you know, campus um, entrance. So, so as you as you approach, um, you notice uh, in there, there's a um, there are more of a. a it, it's a bit more rudimentary. Like there's maybe like a squat hole um, over top of a pit, or like a board that you kind of stand on mm-hmm. and squat into the pit. And you, you actually notice um, that there is a body in the in the pit. Who a body? Okay. Uh, uh, it looks to be human. Um, but that's kind of all you can really tell from from here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call people over. And say, hey, found a body. I don't have anything that would reach down and pull that out of the bucket. Good lord, a body? Yes. Is it one of the order? I cannot tell. Um, if you can speak with dead, I'm sure we would be able to find out. I don't well, think anybody has that spell. Eku Ek- would point out that it looks like he's wearing the garb of the order. Um, especially because not many Choltons natively would be kind of wearing um, the type of armor that he's wearing. Good lord, it's one of the older. How far down is this pit? I don't know, how big do you dig a latrine 10 feet down so you can fill it up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't create this one. Say, uh, say... Roll, roll 1d10 plus 2 to see how many feet deep it is already <laughs> filled. I'll tell you what. Uh, a, I'm going to roll this in the open. I'm going to roll a, a, a d4 plus 2. <laughs> to see how much, how, how big the gap from the lip to the, the top of the... The muck? Oh, you got I three feet from the edge of the latrine pit to kind of the uh, body or the top of the pit where this body wait. is floating. Wait, wait, there's who's in the latrine pit? 
uh, a dead body. A, body. a dead body. That not appears t- to be not a murder. <laughs> not yet. I was going to say, hmm. Hey, Cookie, come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to wander over. I was AFK, sorry. Where is everybody? I don't see anybody. North. Top uh, north. right, kind of. Move north, young creature. There's a bird Ooh. here? No, that bird's uh, gone now. Chicken? <laughs> It was an axe speak. Good thing you weren't there. You might have tried to eat it. <laughs> yeah, I wondered. I wondered why you were so quiet during that whole. I, I, I put a thing set as AFK. Sorry. So the body is floating on a bunch of poo. Poo. <laughs> floating, supported by Rock. shit, just touching the ground underneath. You don't really know. All you know is that you can see the back of this body. Good lord. Oh. It, it's a little on the edge. Like it's not in the middle of of the pit. Um, and you. If can someone roll me a survival check or investigation? <laughs> is, that a, either. is that a question? Yeah. Well, some. Mary's Actually, can uh, will uh, do uh, detect magic. Okay. You're asking Mary something. Also, Kevin, I didn't, I didn't catch it though. Uh, you do not detect. Any magic? Uh, Who's that? That was. Yeah, you don't detect any magic in your, your immediate uh, vicinity. No. Um, and yeah, Maris, if you roll me an investigation or a perception check, I guess. Perception. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Survival or investigation, either or. As you're looking at this cleric, um, as you're watching, you see that there's some finger grooves or marks or what looked like that anyways in the edge of the pit. You think maybe he hid in there or jumped or slipped and <laughs> fell in the chaos. Oh, God. And it was so slippery and gross that he could not get out. And likely, if you put money on it, he starved to death. I mean, he could eat the poo. He's got pride, okay? He's got pride. Oh, Mary's just torn. Torn like an old sweater. She doesn't want to touch him. <laughs> He's so fucking gross. <laughs> but, oh, Cookie, go on. Oh, you're too small. Never mind. Uh, yonder, <laughs> reach down there and grab a hold of him. Pull him up here. Please. <laughs> Y'all about to see Tick to a belly flop? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought he was a furry. Come on. I should have get like an advantage on my persuasion or something for <laughs> to get Yonder to do it. <laughs> uh, ain't too pretty for that. Oh good lord. Can I can I fashion like a, a like a lasso or something where I can kind of drop a rope down there and kind of uh get around Trax something? Has got a, Trax has a whip he could try to use, I suppose. Good lord, we're not gonna whip the poo up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it you, might get messy. Might get messy. If you have rope, yeah, I'll I'll allow you to make a, a a lasso. And given that that Maris, I feel like would have proficiency with making lassos on your sleight of hand for the for the knot check. I'll I'll give you advantage. Is that the same as a lasso? <laughs> yes, yes, same as a a that's, lasso. That's Canadian form of lasso. Lasso. Roger. Okay, so you said a sleight of hand with advantage for me? Is that what you said? Yeah, because I assume you don't have a last two ready to go. <laughs> no, I don't. Is that really how so, you say it in Canada? Last two? Listen, it's it is last two. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I just have I work with like three Canadians. I've just never heard them use that word before, so it kind of caught me <laughs> off guard. <laughs> well, what kind of workplace do you work in where you don't talk about your last twos all the time? Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, well, I can't make a knot with the shit, that evidently. Was sure what it was. Uh, Brian's going to send out a company-wide email asking all the Canadians to identify what the correct way of pronouncing this word is. No, I am going to do that on Tuesday. I'm going to reach out to all my Canadian friends and say, is that really how you say it? Sorry. Um, you know, what's a lasso? See what they say. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you, you, you tie a knot, you you think you're, you're pretty, uh, comfortable with it and, uh, yeah, you can try and fish out this, uh, <laughs> give me, uh, give me, um, a, a 
dex, a dex attack, because you're attacking this corpse. That's the same as a dex, just rolling on dex, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I still had advantage clicked on from earlier. Uh, well, you know, if you have advantage tying the lasso, I'll give you advantage on throwing the lasso too. Yeah, you managed to to grab it. You end up, you tried to get its hand, but somehow you like land on its head, and you're just like, okay, so now you're gonna have to pull this thing up by the uh, the head. Well, it is dead, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you you think so? Oh, she's gonna kind of squint a little bit, like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, and she'll start pulling him up. <laughs> All right, give me a now. Now you don't get advantage on this, but. Give me a strength check to see if you can overcome this suction power that this shit has on oh my God. this body. That's bacterial action for sure. This uh, is disgusting. Um, hang on. And okay, Sorry. I was gonna say thirteen. So you so you beat it. Um, so you pull this Templar up, and there's some you have some resistance as you're trying to pull and resist the suction, but you break that. <laughs> And it actually slides relatively easily up the side of uh, this latrine pit. Um, as this stinking body uh, is at your feet. Whew, good lord. Does anybody have that uh, prestidigitation to clean up him up a little bit? No? I mean, take a pop out a firebolt. No, no, we're not cooking him, t- Cookie. He's already dead. You can't cook dead meat. That's not how this well. I guess technically you do cook dead meat. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. So I, I don't think I have speak with dead ready. <laughs> this is Brian talk. I got to look. That's a third level spell. I don't think either of us could learn it. If we yeah, you're really quiet, Rich. I don't know if you're far away or you got something with your microphone or is it just me, guys? Oh, how's that? No, he's better? quiet. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that's better. Is that a lot better? All right. Sorry. The mic was a little off. Um, I know it's a third level spell. It's not something I'm capable of learning yet. Okay. Being so level myself. Then if no one has precipitation, I'm going to like take a a small t- twig or like a leaf and kind of clean off spot. See if I can try to figure out if he really died from you know eating his own poo or whatever. Okay. Or something attacking. Um... All right, so are you giving me a medicine check for that? Yeah, I'll, I can assist on that so that... Yeah, so I guess I that's medicine. what you're wanting. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah you, it's a determined cause of death. It would be a medicine check. And do it with advantage if you're getting assistance. Okay. But yeah, you guys, well, the smell is quite revolting. As I can you imagine. Do. Oh, sorry. I didn't know if you were doing it for me or Fred. My uh, apologies. That's okay. Um, so we, we both roll anyway because we're both doing it. So because we're assisting one another. Yeah. So you guys, you guys, yeah. The bot. You, it looks like it, it was starved to death. You don't see any puncture wounds, any scorch marks, any gnawing or, or biting. Um, obviously, other than what the flies have bitten off or has rotted away. Um, but the body is in relatively good condition. Uh, it's just covered in shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. Let's see, actually, do I have create water? And, and you guys would know that, like, to die of thirst or, or hunger, it would take you a couple of, of days for that to happen. Yeah, quite a while. So he was About, likely a, alone. Go ahead, yeah. I was just say three days for water, probably 30 for food, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, empty one of my water skins on him to try to wash away the gunk from where his pockets are and his clothing. Okay. Um, Before you do that, Barry's going to say, no, let, let's go wash him off on the river. You really want to carry him that far? Well, okay. I... <laughs> Actually, he's dead. I loop, I loop a cord around his neck <laughs> and drag him to the river. Okay. Oh, he's already got a, a lasso around his neck. That's right, the lasso. Yeah, yeah. So you can Stop easily... It, Brian. You can easily drag him to the uh, to the river, should you choose we'll that. Yeah, we'll use the lasso to drag him down to the river. Okay, so you uh, you get him to the to the river um, and take this dead body. Man, I don't need to prolong this out. Just Mary just wants to kind of wash him off and then see if she can find something to wrap him in for now. 
while we try okay, to I mean, see if there's any more survivors. Yeah, you would you would very easily be able to cut any of the the sides of the cloth tent and use that as a, like a burial shroud if that's what you're after. Yeah, yeah. I just look to see if he has anything of, that would give us any kind of information on his person. Um, as you I search him, uh, as you search him, you find that he has a warhammer at his side. Mm -hmm. Um, his it look like it could be something special. I. You, you get the feeling it's probably basic. I mean, if this guy was cowardly enough to die in a latrine pit, <laughs> he probably doesn't have the good shit, just saying. Understood. Um, oh, that's interesting. You might have just revealed something right there. <laughs> yeah, because he probably was hiding in the latrine, and that's why he starved to death. He was hiding because he was, like, was just revealed by our GM. Oh, yeah. I thought we already figured that out. Yeah. So well, it could have been any any one of things like running away and slipping and falling. You guys, being season explorers, you don't think you'd probably hide in a latrine pit to attack somebody in an <laughs> open camp? Just seems like yeah. a, a he uh, was hiding to save his ass. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So there's a warhammer. Uh. He's wearing scale mail, but it's pretty ruined. Did he? Yeah. It's shitty. <laughs> and. Uh, he has a pouch that contain five assorted gemstones worth uh, ten gold pieces each. Shiny? Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're still at the latrine pit. <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, I'll dump the gems out of the shitty bag and uh, <laughs> toss that in the river. Make sure you bring back my lasso. You can have the lasso. It's right here. It's not funny for us, Brian. Just you. It I know. sounds normal for us. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like the way Marys would say it, though. I think I, think I like that. That's you. That's you. It's the way it's written, guys. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah. So, uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, and like I said, I'm gonna dump the gems out of the crappy bag. Throw that in the river. Um. Just kind of put it, wrap him up, put him underneath one of these tents for now is what Mary's would suggest. Well, um, he's dead. Uh, no matter what, how you wrap him, he's going to become food for somebody. So if you want to uh, give him a burial, I suggest we just put some rocks in with him, wrap him up, and dump in the river so he goes to the uh, No. We'll give him a proper burial when we come back. We need to finish finding possibly others. Well, it is a proper burial. Burial at sea. We no! Wrap him up. Put some stones in, dump them in the water. Say some words, wave your hands, and we can move. Oh, these stupid fuckers. Trex is going to recommend that we just leave them for the axe beaks to come back and have a little snack later. Now, yeah, damn it! At least it serve Fellas, you would serve a purpose then. You're about to feel the wrath of Eldath. I will pick up his body myself. She's going to stomp Marish, over here. Marish. She's going to pick it up, put it over her shoulder. I, too, am a cleric. Has his soul not moved on? What we are looking at is an empty shell. You can say your prayers. He deserves the proper respect. And she'll put him inside his tent. <laughs> and take whatever trash is inside her, kind of bury him a little bit. So now these fuckers will <laughs> throw him in the river. Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. Okay. okay. Um, nope. Those of no. you that, that are kind of at the base of the statue, you do notice that there is an archway uh, between its feet. Mm. I still have Does my check magic. Like have I seen something? anything else? Uh, you have not detected any other magic, no. Now, I, this larger tent that's down here, I don't know if there's an entrance that I'm... Oh, right here. Um, same deal. Nothing of any significance inside of the tent. Just... I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, just testing. He's pulling out all the monster characters right now. Got it. <laughs> uh, Random roll. How many yeah. we're going to have? How many monsters are attacking? 72 of them. <laughs> Good. Right. There we go. 72 <laughs> monsters come pouring out, but they're only... Um, one inch high. We, we've just been joined by a Rand and a Jason. Oh, holy cow. Oh, I feel the wow, pressure now. Dude, it's not a rand. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, as you're as you're searching the tent. Yes. Um you 
you're you you kind of look around and a a um a creature makes an attack against you. A surprise attack? Yeah, a surprise attack. Really? I'm surprised. Is that because Rand just showed up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I did not see not see perception. He was you, invisible. It was a, a tiny hidden snake, it looks like. Yes. All right. <laughs> and he rolls what to hit? Ten. Uh, well, he had. Does he have advantage of surprise attack? Typically, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, so that's uh, a 25 so, to hit. Actually, then if I throw. I actually, I. It's been a long time since I've used this spell, so bear with me a second. If I say to give me for a bonus plus five, that's not going to be enough. So twenty-five. Well, it's a crit. It hits. Um, that's the give, joy of that. He rolled give, a, in that that twenty, so he hit no matter what. Uh, All right, so that. give me that con save for that poison damage. One con save. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. So you are. You take two piercing damage and five poison damage. No, because the poison damage isn't uh, doubled on a crit. So uh, you take uh, two poison. Yeah. Okay. Two poison and two piercing. At snake. Uh, bites at you as you disturb it uh, when you step into the tent. Okie doke. Uh, this is what the snake looks like. Whoa, Very that's a vicious. big ass snake. <laughs> Jesus. How no, is that hiding? That, that's enlarged for, for comic. <laughs> uh, it. It's actually a tiny snake. It's like, good tiny lord. Oh, it's coming right for us. Uh... Um, but in the tent, we... you notice there's there's nothing there. Okay, do I have an opportunity to attack, or is it, like, bite and gone? Uh, it, it bite and gone, and if you want to make an attack against it, you can. I mean, it's a small snake, so you're probably going to hit it unless you're really incompetent. Well, let's test my competency, shall we? <laughs> oh, okay. But no pressure. Right, no pressure whatsoever. Son of a bitch! Yeah, there we go. Ten. Ten. Well, I I lied a little. It's got a thirteen AC. So, uh... <laughs> I missed. Yeah, I got it. So, like I said, testing my competency. Miss so, it, you get the roll. You miss it as it uh, kind of slithers <laughs> off uh, through an opening in the tent somewhere. Got it. But otherwise, there's there's nothing else inside of these tents. All right. So I come out, you know, with shaking my hand and watch out for the little black fucking snakes. I think they're poisonous. <laughs> Is you turning green right now? <laughs> um, and uh, so Eku will point out to everyone who's kind of at the feet of the statue um, that uh, they call this the House of the Crocodile. It's a shrine that's dedicated to uh, a Chalton folklore hero. And she says, I can tell you the story of the Crocodile Man if you like. <laughs> um, it could help. But she says the um, the order probably wasn't very interested in the, in the shrine. It was more that this was a, a foothold into the land of the undead. Not the shrine itself, but this area. The shrine was just, yeah, it's there. It's cool. And that's why the um, order was here? Yeah, to squash out the undead. So this was like one of their forward expeditions she w she had heard. Like one of their first forays into the jungle. Um, she says it was built many uh, centuries ago. And um, you guys notice that it looks like it's carved directly into the hillside. Um, and this statue appears to be about 80 foot high. Um and she tells you that 
the story goes, in the early days of the world, man stood by the banks of a river, frightened. Crocodile raised his head from the water and asked, what troubles do you, cousin man? Man said, I must cross this river, but I fear to enter the water alone because it teems with your brethren. The crocodile replied, it's true, you would not be safe here, but I will carry you across the river on my back if you promise to return the favor. Man agreed, and Crocodile bore him safely across the water. When they reached the far bank, Man asked, How can I repay you? The Crocodile replied, I wish to see the realm of the humans, but I fear to go there alone because it teems with your brethren. You must carry me on your back across your realm. The Man had been tricked, but a promise is a promise, so he carried the Crocodile safely on his back across the entire realm of humans, a journey that lasted many years. He also swore in his anger that never again would men and crocodiles be friends. And so it has remained to this day. Huh. Interesting story. So you said there's undead in here? <laughs> uh, she, Aku says, I don't know if there's undead in there, but uh, it, this probably wasn't the, um, the focus of why the, the camp was here. Then why the hell were they here? They, you, you, they, oh, I'm so confused. She, she would, she says, you know, the area around here is teeming with undead. Um, so it was probably like a forward expedition or like a advance camp for them to set up and combat the dead. And they just use this because maybe, um, you know, it was just a naturally good place to camp, and there happened to be a statue here that we could look at. Okay. Well, Mary just wants to try to find more survivors. So, if unless this looks like something inside the shrine, yeah. Um. You you notice that there's a bunch of cobwebs, and uh, that there's a. St- stone floor that seems to be covered in a thick layer of mud uh, and leaves that have blown in. Um, Can I see what this is back here? uh, (laughs) Uh, There's there's kind of a wall that leads up to a ledge higher up. Hmm. Or sorry, uh, yeah. There's a back here. There's a ledge that seems to lead uh, to a, a higher level. Okay, and the same thing up here. Uh, sorry, hang on. I missed that ping. Let me shift my screen. You gotta get up there first to find out. You Wanna... can't quite make make it out, especially because I don't think you have dark vision. Oh, well, I do not. Tickets going. <laughs> okay. Um. I so, guess I can cast light on on. I cast light on Cookie. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ooh, kick a shiny. Uh, okay, so one second here. Um, so Tikuk, you're just advancing into the the area. Maris, you're following behind. Anyone else? <laughs> That's an invitation if I've ever heard one. Her. Yes. And I'm also casting light on my shield. I mean, you've got, glow- you got a glowing cobalt in front of you. Yeah, yeah. I cast light on, on Cookie. That's my mode of operation. I'll follow behind Neris. Okay. Lead the way, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kev, did you mean to uh, whisper that to me? Yeah, yeah, I did. You mean say it out loud or what? Uh, y- you can if you like. Even. Uh, okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I said odd. Uh, it's an so odd number. Yeah. So, good news and bad news. With that, with those responses, there is no right answer. Um, so, as you walk across um, this floor here, uh, Tikuk, you manage to make it a little way out and as Maris is coming behind you like um like your mother picking up all the stuff you're dropping and lighting <laughs> you on 
you hear a click as the floor beneath you guys drops. I mean, all of us? No, just uh, just you and just the people on these four squares here. Okay. So Chuck, Maris, you, I want to jump. Maris and TikTok. Um, TikTok so you wants guys, to jump. Uh, you don't get a chance. No, no. As a reaction, TikTok wants to jump onto Maris. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, give give her an acrobatics. See if you <laughs> end up falling on your head as you jump. Uh, acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, uh, not at disadvantage. Normal. Public. Uh, uh, public is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you jump and like you jump right as the floor gives out, so your feet kind of give out, and you just fl- face plant at Maris's feet as you both fall twenty feet and take um, fall damage. Uh, what's fall damage in five V? Every ten feet is a D one hundred. God, <laughs> four is in meat grinder mode. Yeah, <laughs> D six. One D six. Okay, so you guys take two D six uh, fall damage. What's one? So four. Nine points of falling damage. Oh, Cookie, what did you do? Cookie's just gonna shrug, and then he's gonna get up, dust himself off, and look around. Look out for that first step. She'll yell up to the other folks. So is it like, um, so, sorry, go ahead. So I was going to say, um, Trex and Fred, you guys noticed that there's now a very thin ledge along either side of uh, this pit that you think you could walk across. Well, I'm <laughs> going to shine the light down into the... You don't need to. I'm lit up. Pit. Right, but um, from your aspect, you may not be able to light up the whole area. So if there's any shadowed areas, I'm going to uh, point my light source in so I can get a good idea of what may or may not be down there with them. Uh, it it appears to just be like a pit or I guess what you'd call a man trap or a tiger trap. You know, it just falls down into 20 feet down into a uh, open pit. Okay. No spikes or... No, there, 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 there doesn't appear to be, to be spikes. And does there appear to be an exit down there? Uh, no, all four walls are uh, stone or, or dirt or solid. Okay. Um, I'll move along the edge around to get to the far side. Um, I guess when I get over there, I'm going to look at the floor and make sure, or at least try to determine if there's another trap first. Okay. Um, yeah, give me a, give me an investigation check. Or, sorry, a perception check. Um, so as you're, as, oh, and then give me a a dexterity check to make it across the ledge. Yeah, okay, so you make it across the ledge. Um, as you're looking for uh, a pit trap, you actually notice um, and trigger the spike trap. Oh, <laughs> trap! A poisonous snake. Another one. <laughs> poisonous two-headed snake. There's 10 of them. Um, so, yeah. So, you, you do notice... You don't you don't think there's a uh, pit trap there, no. Okay. Um, the thing that I do notice... Yeah. Are they the length of... Like, from the floor level up? And uh, out, or is it just... Are they at a specific level? Like, if I wanted to go under them... Uh, they're kind of offset, so you don't think that you could kind of get under or around them, so to speak. Interesting. But I have space to stand? Yeah, you kind of have, like, 
like as you're looking you're like looking at the floor and you kind of yeah. turn up and it just catches your eye off to the side okay and they're kind of uh along the uh wall okay um how large are basically i'm gonna say hey uh i think i may have spotted another trap over here hold up for a second um and are the recesses about the size of like an arrow shaft or a dag would a dagger fit in one I'm... Uh, you, i mean you... no one's gonna help us get out of this hole <laughs> that's where we're... i'm working on it i'm working on it um throw you look at them and you think they're probably you know wide enough for uh a blade okay um and you don't see like a, a one single point glinting. You kind of see like a longer, like it kind of glints along the edge of of a longer thing, so to speak. Okay, so I will say, okay, well, we we're not going to pull you up on this side. I'm going to make my way back across, so I'm going to give you another dex roll, and probably fall into the pit. No, okay. Um, <laughs> and at this point, I will uh, send down a rope. So that they can get out. Uh, yes, you could yeet Cookie out of the pit if you wanted to. <laughs> I mean, a Cookie will climb right up onto her arm. <laughs> uh, give me a give me a strength check, and I won't give you disadvantage because I know he's a small creature. I also want to assume that Rand is listening to us in the car ride up to wherever he's going. And subjecting his entire family to hearing this. That's what I want to believe. <laughs> oh, wait, are there children? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so um, you can't see in the in the chat that I, uh, Mary is uh, tossing her cookie. Oh, I did see that. Um, so, Sounds yeah, like you ran it. Can't see that. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, so, yeah, you, uh, with ease, you managed to shove cookie out of the uh, pit. Or not shove. You managed to throw. <laughs> Wee! Just like just like the midget tossing competition days of old, um, you would get the high score here, as you throw probably like thirty feet into the air, so he even has time to like gracefully catch his uh, footing. Or a pirouette. He does pirouette. Yes, he does a pirouette. <laughs> which uh, which ledge are you throwing him to? Uh, the one yeah. I'm pinging. <laughs> okay. Um, so give me, give me a. Um... Nobody said anything about a trap, did they? No, I did. Oh, you I did. Okay, then I'll wreck on that. On side. I so thought, you like, might not have heard of it. Out. And I said, there appears to be a trap over here. We're gonna have to pull you out on the other side, and that's why I moved back. To oh, the okay. Then, that. That, then no, I wouldn't have thrown him over. Then <laughs> I thought you were just saying it to yourself. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I was just over here. Group. Over here then. Trex will, will catch him up in his arms as he lands. Like like on top of the world figure skating style? Oh, no, I'm throwing, yeah, sure, I'm throwing him hard at, at, at Woody. Woody pissed me off a while ago. <laughs> well, what, if that's the case, Woody's going to try to dodge him so he goes past him. <laughs> He's going to hit the wall and like slide down it. <laughs> Tunk. Can I do like an acrobatics check to see if I can dodge the cookie? Yeah, yeah. Give me uh, an acrobatics. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> he like yeah. matrixes he's out of the way. Exactly. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's so, like I'm there and then I'm not. So you end up way out in the middle of uh, of the uh, at the feet. You're almost like at the toes of this large statue. Yay. <laughs> right, I guess I'll toss a rope. Okay, my turn, fellas. Yeah, I threw a rope down so you could climb up. Isn't Maris like seven feet tall? I think so. Yeah, yeah. so it's not that hard. Far who's 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 far. gonna I say who's gonna hold the rope and not get pulled I, in? Oh, the dwarf. The dwarf will help. All three of us can can hold on to the rope and anchor it. That shouldn't be too difficult. All right. So do I need to roll anything, or am I good to get out of the hole? Uh, give me a strength check. And then whoever's holding the rope, or however many of you, give me a strength check. All sure. of us that are holding? 
Or all of you are holding? Okay, then I'll say uh, you. There's you at least two it. of us. But yeah, two or three. But Maris, yeah, give me the strength check. Three. <laughs> Pull everybody down. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all tied up. Yeah, we're good to go. Just but wow. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You make it up, uh, no problem. That was not fun. That was not pleasant, I must say. So, there's another trap over there, you say? Uh-oh, Robotic Brian is back. Oh, Robo. Robot! <laughs> what did you guys not hear? Any of it? Any no. of it. Uh, hey, she basically, you went full robot. She asked if uh, there was a, uh, definitely a trap on the other side of the ledge. Yes. Okay. Some kind of blade trap, as far as I could tell. I'm no rogue, but I've seen my share of traps at times. So, this is out of character question, Jason. Or not Jason, sorry. Kev, does anybody see this over here? What appears to me, Brian, to be a door. I'm just saying out of character. Does anyone even see this? Um, I not announced whether we could see yeah, that you, or not. So, so, basically, what you guys see is there's a, a ledge here. That is uh, uh, yeah, there is a seven foot high ledge here, it, it looks like. Interesting. Looks at a seven foot fur bog, looks at a seven foot ledge. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's and then there's another ledge beyond that. So, seeing that, especially because you don't have dark vision, is probably uh, a stretch for you. Anyways, <laughs> I'll throw and a cookie up there. Take a, uh, take a you could if you if you had dark vision, you could probably see up to this ledge, but not uh, this next ledge here. Will has dark vision. Um, so does so does Nalgren. You guys see that? Think that. You know, there, you see the top of the ledge up here. You don't necessarily make out what. Uh, well, it does look to you guys. It looks like there, there's a door up here. Okay. But you can't make out any details of it. You just see that there's two ledges and then what looks like a door. But Maris does not see that. Well, there's nothing in there but a pit. Where's all these? Gauntlet people. I just realized a gauntlet, you know, the hallway you pass through that is full of traps. Like, I just, just as a person, not a sticker. Sticker's all ready to keep going. <laughs> um, and sorry, uh, Fred, you think that uh, with those traps, if you jam something into those openings, you'd probably be able to, uh, you know, walk past the traps without issue yeah but how many recesses were there total four. Oh, only four only four okay okay um well i know i have some spikes in my dungeon pack patons many yeah patons. 10 patons oh they come in groups of 10 come excellent 10 so uh then i, I mean would... i would assume that if you set it with anything less than like five you're probably not going on a real adventure oh no problem so yeah i'll make my way back over uh and use my uh war hammer to uh pin him okay what do you want uh dex to get across. uh yeah dex to get across and then give me a uh, four strength um okay Whoa. nine not get I... me across no you fall into the pit all right i'll lose my footing ah oh, fuck dang and you take seven points of fall damage. All right. I'm so, saying Mary's um, hears him fall in, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely hear a thunk at the bottom. She's going to walk up to the edge and kind of chuckle a little bit. Now, we got these ropes here. So folks don't have to fall in here anymore. How about we try that next time? How is a rope going to prevent you from falling in as you cross a small ledge to the ten foot side ten no foot is... rope over a twenty foot uh, deep hole means you don't fall to the bottom. 
Yeah, but what are you securing it on the far side with? Me. Yo. <laughs> so you, how are you going to get on the far side? You gotta try. <laughs> Go for it. And hopefully you don't fall in. In the I meantime, can... I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Do I think I can throw Cookie across this? <laughs> How wide is it? Why don't we wait till somebody gets on the other side and then toss Cookie? Trex, Trex will take a walk across the ledge. What's to say, Dex or uh, acrobatics? Yeah, just a Dex, a Dex check. Yeah, you make your way across. Is there room for me over there too? Ah, uh, yeah. There's there's room for you on on that that side of the ledge. You know, if you go any deeper, you might uh, accidentally trigger the trap. Okay, so I can go is Am I it okay? behind him or to the south of him? Pardon? Can I go here or do I have to go here? Or no, no, to... no, you can go here. You can't okay. go here because that's an open pit. That's the hole. Okay, okay, I'm rolling rolling my decks. Uh, get ready to catch me because uh, I'm a coming a tumbling. As yes, Mary's I am. As Mary's holding <laughs> out one end of the rope. <laughs> you no, just walk by it. So... <laughs> Chicka's got like the slack end of the rope, but he's like literally just not even holding any part of it that's useful. <laughs> okay, so I fell in. Seven oh. points of well, falling damage. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, if Albert, somebody if you're, somebody you're throws me the rope, right? can you're... I hold it on the other end and as a as no, a right. uh... You are a dwarf or what is you, what's your race? He is a dwarf. I'm a I'm a dwarf. I'm I'm gonna try to catch him and at least break his fall. <laughs> um okay, <laughs> give want? me uh Frank? Acrobatics, if you want. Slide of, slide of hand. Athletics. Uh, give me an athletics, I guess. That's definitely a history check. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's your history. I would have gone nature. Can, Can I catch dwarfs? I don't know. <laughs> um, what? What is this magic that we're fighting here? Is this gravity? Um. Yeah, so you catch him, so you only take four falling damage. You All know. right. As you kind of catch him, but you don't get a firm hold, and still part of him hits the, the floor. Just maybe his ass instead of his head this time. Mary's going to hold up her left hand at at, uh, at Yonder. Now, Yonder, don't do anything stupid. Hey, uh, Woody, catch. And she'll toss uh, one end of the rope over to Woody. Okay. Woody, uh, will, do I need to roll to catch that, or is it? Straightforward. If you're asking Mary, yeah. she's like, no, you don't have to roll anything, hon. You just catch it. <laughs> I'm asking the, the DM, man, out, out of character here. Sorry, what, I, I missed that. Oh, I just wanted to know if I needed to roll anything to catch the rope that Maris just threw to me. No, I mean, because it's just going to dangle there. It's not like you're in immediate danger. Gotcha. So, Is there anything I can secure it to, or do I have to just hold on to it to uh, to anchor it? Um, there's not, it's carved into stone, so there's not really anywhere to, to tie to. Okay. So, both ends of the rope are being held right now? Yes. Ticker's gonna, like, spider climb along wait, the rope. Wait, 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 wait! He's not stopping. He's not stopping. <laughs> Mary's gonna start <laughs> dropping the rope. <laughs> Ticker starts, like, so. You ever see, like, a, a rope get bowed as it starts going down? He's, like, sinking into the hole. <laughs> Someone needs to, to, to disarm that trap on the other side before everybody gets over there. Tickick's like, I got it, I got it. No, you I don't. You know, you don't. Not, not, he'll should you like let the slack out so he's down on the bottom of the pit with everybody else. <laughs> now he just has to climb up the other side. <laughs> so, so what do we need to do to disarm this trap? Shove stuff in the holes. Uh. Fred could tell you that, yes. Fred. I'm going to shout down to Fred. Hey, what do I need to do up here, mate? <laughs> Crikey. Blind me. I guess Fred doesn't like my accent. You got to say, Frederico. Oh, Frederico. Did we lose Fred? Rich? Oh, missed that part wife was talking how dare you how listen to... to your wife instead of me yeah, i know i apologize <laughs> i really do uh can you tell me something about the trap so uh yeah. what he knows how to disarm it yeah when when i see you over there i'm like okay um you'll notice that there's like four recesses in the wall um and when i shine the light down it, it gleamed a little bit it looked like it could be a blade trap so you're gonna want to 
bang a pinion into each of the recesses so that if it triggers the blades get jammed. Okay. Does Explorer's pack come with pinions? Does anyone know? Uh, I believe it does. Dungeoneer, Dungeoneers does. Yeah, I think uh, they I think Okay. If not, I can toss four up to you. Okay. Wait, well, yeah, if you can toss them up to me, I'll try to bang them in with uh, whatever I have. It would be useful, I guess. <laughs> Hilt to my dagger, the wooden shield. Whatever. I'll toss you up my warhammer. Just be gentle with it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Right tool, right job. Here we go. All right, so I'm banging in pinions with a warhammer. Okay, give me uh, give me four strength checks. Okay. Not a rogue in oh. sight, or is there? <laughs> okay, there you go. Take your oh, take your pick here. Okay, you uh, you you put seven or sorry, not seven. You put. Uh, four pittons into the the slots you kind of see along the wall um, that you think will uh, stop the uh, trap from activating. Do me a do me a quick favor there, uh, Woody. Sure, look, sure. Look for three more holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a good look around while I'm doing this to see if I see anything else in the in the vicinity. Um, uh, you don't you don't see any more any more holes. Okay. And then where's the cobalt? He needs to go first. The cobalt's like hanging <laughs> on the rope. He's still trying to climb it. Mary's going to shout over if um, if Woody feels uh, good about the trap now. Woody uh, shrugs. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Send <All> the right. <laughs> cobalt. <laughs> so Mary's will start tightening up the rope a little bit <laughs> for, for uh, Cookie. I will yeah, I can hold the. Uh, I can pick up the other end and keep it taut, so Cookie can climb up oh, yeah, my I side. Spider climb over. So I make it up. No problems with that, Kev. No, you make it up. That's fine. Cookie, uh, you guys are just go that way, Cookie. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, <laughs> he's still like that friggin' weasel from uh, Foghorn Claghorn. <laughs> So, so Mary's will again slack the rope just so one of the guys down the pit can grab a hold of it and climb up. Um, cookie moves. Okay, so you move to that ledge. Um, are you guys still lingering in the pit, having your uh, your your seven minutes in heaven, or? What you guys uh, hear am, me? I, am I correct that Maris handed? need the slack so I can help them climb up my side? Is that what the plan was? No, you still have one end, I have one end. She's just letting it, the, the rope go slack so the guys down the pit can grab a hold of it. And oh, then they okay, can gotcha. Climb up. Up my side. Yeah, correct. Okay, that works. I hope it works. Well, Did yeah, I mean, that, that work, I understand your plan is what I meant. <laughs> Does my plan work, DM? What do you want uh, me to do to... See if I make it. <laughs> what the um, hell? <laughs> as at Tikuk, as you pass uh, across the floor, um, you hear plink, 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 swoosh, as it appears that. Um, Three of the <laughs> pittons have held, but one seems to have given way. Um, give me a dexterity saving throw. Who? Who is that kobold? The kobold. Yep. Tick -tick. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where's uh, dexterity saving throw? Uh, yeah. It is a dexterity saving throw. Tickhook's just going to start dancing on the side. Be like, look, see, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so you take uh, five points of slashing damage as a scythe flies out of... Tickhook gets kneecapped. Jesus. <laughs> 19 failed? 19 Whoa. failed? No, no, half. Half, half. Oh, half. half. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> look at you guys freaking out. Wait, a 19 fails? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> You said it was meat grinder mode, guys. Come on. Yeah, Mary's going to get back on the like... canoe. <laughs> <laughs> Time to head up river. 
Just toss the rope down the pit. See you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> so what was the exact trap again? I missed the description. Sorry. Uh, a scythe like okay. blade whips out of the wall. Um, and you and Trex would have heard it along with anyone kind of there. The the plink, plink, plink as it hit, but the python's old. And the one that gave out, you hear a whoosh. <laughs> and then like... Somewhere down the hall, you hear the plink of a pi- of the python bouncing on the floor, um, and you hear the high pitched shriek of a uh, kobold getting whacked with a scythe. Now, just a reminder: Cookie is still lit up. I've cast light on him a long time ago. Oh yeah, yeah. So you guys see that it's in full Technicolor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh... Is this a one-off then? Once the scythe thing goes off to the other side, is pretty much that's the trap. You have to find that out by yourself. <laughs> Can the cobalt come back to me? <laughs> you gonna ask him to come back? Yeah, Cookie, come on over here. I got something for you. <laughs> okay, Cookie. Cookie stops dancing. He starts heading back. Uh, Are you okay, Cookie? <laughs> Cookie's like bleeding. He goes, my tummy hurts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing seems to have activated and he, he goes across. Cookie is bleeding. Can I, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, heal Cookie, I guess. Since I was bad enough to use him as a test subject. I'll do a healing word on him, so that's what, 1d4 plus 4, I guess. I just want to point out, Cookie, uh, or should I say Anthony, voted for Beat Grinder, so... I did. <laughs> hey, hey, if, if 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 this cobalt doesn't look like hamburger, we're not doing it right. There you go. There you go, Cookie. That's for you. Heal seven points. He's still looking a little battered, but he's 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 still hungry. All right. So just like uh... moss on the walls. Can he just like pick off moss on the wall and eat it as they walk? <laughs> Yeah, there's probably some moss. Like, you know, no big deal. Maybe he finds like a grub or something. Nom, yeah. nom, nom, nom. So Possibly. did uh, did Fred make it back up? Uh, I assume everybody who is in the pit is now up and out of the pit unless they choose to wallow in said pit. And we're pretty sure this is safe right here now, right? Because <laughs> everything's been triggered and, and retested. Um, yeah, you're you're pretty sure. <laughs> One way All right, I'm going to walk across the other side with the hay. Okay. Um, as you walk across, um, you come to a seven-foot-high ledge in front of you. Okay. I'll wait here for the others to catch up with me. Yeah. Mary's will instruct yonder. Look back at Eku. Eku, are you joining us? Um, Eku says, uh, yes, I can join you. Or would you like me to keep watch on the boats? Uh. I've seen you fight, so I don't think that's very advisable. <laughs> okay. Of course, you're uh, probably dying here with us, too, so it doesn't matter. But Okay. Yonder, uh, skedaddle on over there. Is Yonder here? Don? Yep, I'm coming. Sorry, I wasn't pushing my button. Okay. So, uh, Dexterity, make it across the pit into this room. With the rope? throw. Pardon? You're still using the rope, though, right? Uh, who's holding the rope on the other side? That's a good question. I assumed it was still Woody. Uh, no, because he went over to the, uh, to the ledge. Damn it, Woody, don't drop the rope! Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have grabbed the rope while Woody uh when Woody stepped away. I've got probably got better strength than him anyway. Okay. Um so yeah, but then how does Maris get across? Well she'll climb down <laughs> twenty feet. Extra extra big mage hand. <laughs> so try to climb I mean, down. I was like Ticka can mage hand the rope up. So Yeah, but <laughs> the but the mage hand can't hold it. Yeah, Wait, my, the rope my, is more than ten pounds. No, no. There's a ten foot drop what, right at Mary's feet. So no, or no, twenty no, foot. But, sorry. Yeah, it's twenty foot from the top of the pit. So you got thirteen feet when you go. 
But I'm just saying the mage hand, it can lift the rope up, but it can't hold any weight on the rope. Yeah, no, it's just to bring the rope back up to people. All right, Mary's uh, is going to take a step back out here, wave at everybody, <laughs> and head for the canoe, and try to see if she can like tie the rope around like the big toe or something. Is that doable, Kev? My big toe. Uh, there's no place to to wrap it around or or to knot. There's no place around here for me to tie the end of the rope to. No. Damn it! This sucks. How big are them rowboats? <laughs> um, they're probably large enough to span the pit if you really wanted to. <laughs> well, I guess I guess we'll use the uh, mage hand trick to get back over here. So yeah, I guess she's gonna try to climb down if she can, hang by her fingers, and then drop the other ten feet. I guess. Uh, so can. you're not going to walk across the narrow ledge on it, either side of the pit? I figured it was going to be too small for her to even try. Can yeah, I try? Can, yeah, the rules as written say that any character on a successful uh, acrobat or dexterity check can make it across. So Acrobatics. Yeah. Would Mary's think that if she fell the full 20 feet, well, she already has fallen once. Yes. <laughs> As opposed to me just hanging off the edge and then dropping the other 10 feet. Falling jump rules instead of fall rules. Yeah, can I safely drop down 20 feet without taking damage? Do I think that, Kev? Um, how much? How many uh, activities did uh, Maris do in uh, cleric school? How many activities? Yeah, like was she in gym class and stuff or was she at the library the whole time? Let's put it this way. She is seven foot one and two hundred and sixty pounds. Um, I mean, she probably thinks she could drop to the bottom of the pit. Getting out might be a bit tougher, but yeah, yeah. it's a thing she could do. Well, there's six people on the other side that can hopefully hold her up <laughs> with the rope. So that's what she's going to try to do. She's going to try to dangle off the edge as much as she can, and then drop the other, you know, ten, twelve feet. So you tell me if I take damage from that, or I got to roll something, or what? Uh, no, you, you can drop yourself, lower yourself down into the pit, I will say. Sweet! Uh, and then give me a strength check to see if you can pull yourself out. Oh, it's not up to them pulling me up with the rope? Well, it depends. Are you climbing the rope and they're holding, or are you holding... Well, I was hoping that was the case. <laughs> you guys gonna hold the rope so I can climb up out? I'm on the other side of the track <laughs> zone. So. <laughs> I'll hold it. So yeah, I'm hoping I can use the rope. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say you get out of the pit. I'll give you this one, even though you, you technically rolled a seven. Um, <laughs> yeah, you make it out of the pit without damage. Oh, kind of a tight fit over here. So what are we doing next? Oh, there's another wall. Oh, look at that one. That's just about right by my head height. Any more traps? Please check for traps. Uh, you've. Well, you haven't seen, but you see that Fred and or Trex and Algren are on the other side. Tickhook might tell you he's crossed the floor twice, and only once did it hurt him. <laughs> so seriously, does anyone else like check for traps before I walk up here and just pull myself up? Well, no one's pulled themselves up on the ledge yet. You said it's like none seven foot. Are, yeah, none of us are tall enough to see up on the ledge, are we? The seven except foot one her. just showed up. Yeah, except for her, I mean. No, but she can't, because unless her eyes are at the top of her skull. Well, like I mean, some sort of weird... I can jump. Uh, she is a fur bulb. Doesn't she have on her eyes on stalks or something sticking up above her head? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not Jar Jar Binks. Fur snail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Tika can climb up Maris. Yeah, that's a good Stand point. Stand on their shoulders, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just technically anybody could. Cookie, come up here. Stand on my shoulders. Do not, do not, Cookie, do you understand what I'm saying? Do not step onto that ledge. <laughs> Cookie's like, get on the ledge. Got it. <laughs> what's, that, what's that? The uh, Y'all seen the Avengers movie? <laughs> Groot, do not push the red button. Red button? Do not push the red button. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then he just takes it and goes. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. So can Cookie see up there? Once uh, Cookie's still lit up too. So. <laughs> um, Cookie can't see on uh, up on. Sorry, what were you? Cookie's getting on your shoulders to yes. see over the left. Yep. <laughs> If I need to, uh, Maris will grab Bob on his feet and kind of, you know, extend her arms straight up. <laughs> um, so what you see is um, on the on the floor there appears to be uh, at the other sorry at the other side there's another seven foot high ledge. Um, there's you see that there's various pattern tiles on the floor between the two ledges. What do the patterns look like? Um, they're a 4x4 four four pattern carved into the floor. Um, yeah. They, there appear to be various uh symbols on the floor a uh, crocodile a dinosaur um a person and a flower take like pretty pictures pretty pictures oh good lord i should have known better put cookie up there cookie get down i'll put cookie down uh, he's gonna he's gonna grip the edge of the ledge and try and, try and climb on no no get down just you'll get back up in a second you'll get back up in a second who else here is like the lightest one What's everybody oh, waiting? I'm not, I'm not all that heavy. All right, so I'll try to pick up Nelly to see if he can give me a, a better answer than pretty pictures. Did you guys lose me? No, nope. no. So you lift yep. up Nalgren. Uh, you, 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 you kind of see the same thing on the floor. There's um pictures uh, there's uh, t there's a f the floor has a pattern tile on it and they are and there's appears to be four different pictures uh one of a crocodile one of a man uh one of a, a flower and one of a dinosaur in any particular order does it matter uh they're kind of mixed up on the floor so crocodile man something dinosaur what was the middle one sorry uh crocodile Crocodile, man, flower, dinosaur. Flower. Okay. So I pass that uh, information down that I can see the four pictures. Does it look so we safe? Need to hop on. Uh, so I'm going to have, so I see the pictures. I'm going to look around and check uh, to see if it's safe, if there's any traps, if I can see any, any reason why I can't clamber up there and stand on top of it. Um, Trax is going to recommend he stand on the crocodile tiles. No, that's a good idea. After the little story we were graced with. Well, I guess one could argue we're in the realm of men now, so maybe the man tiles better. That's ah, 50 50. Um, they were both in the story. Will, I, I will say that you pick up on some magic uh ahead here because your your detect magic is still but just barely on okay um and you would know that uh future Oh uh, yeah, so you you pick up some magic ahead. Do I know know at school or anything else about it? Um, hang on, I'll tell you in a second. Oops. Somewhere along our travels, uh, Will or Yonder, uh, Marys would have told you she can cast the tech magic as a ritual if we have the time. I don't know if you did it as a ritual or not. Um, you you get that it's um, uh, evocation. Okay. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, let everybody know that. That's what I see up there. Uh and Eku seeing um you put uh Tikok and Nalgrin on your shoulders says, Oh, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Just like the crocodile man. Oh, Dun, dun, dun. So we got to carry each other. <laughs> we got to carry each other across these things. Is that what you're saying, Eku? Ah, she says, well, this is the crocodile house. So maybe walk like a crocodile man. All right. Well, I already got Nelly on my shoulders. Is it enough just to step on the crocodile tiles, though? Or is, I mean, are there enough of them to make it across? I didn't catch that in the description uh like what do you mean enough of them to make it across well i said there's crocodile uh pictures on tiles are there enough of those that we can cross the entire area walking just on the crocodile picture yeah each row has um is there's no repeating symbol within a row so to speak but as you go across there's multiple crocodile images yeah yeah each uh sorry hang on uh yeah each in each row there's at least w there's one unique tile so our so four rows we could theoretically step on a crocodile in each row and get our get our asses across yes not saying that's there's what we should another, do but just asking there's another ledge on the other side is that what i'm seeing in the picture yes there's a another ledge so we gotta like step on the crocodile while we're walking like the crocodile man, is what I'm understanding. Yes. Uh, Akiku kind of says, "Well, I don't know about the tiles, but you know, I do know that maybe not. I do know, sorry, but maybe acting like the crocodile man in the crocodile man's house is a good idea." All right. So Nelly, let me push you up there, or let me climb up with you on my shoulders. Is there room for me to stand on the edge without stepping on any of the tiles? Yes, there is just enough room for you to stand on the ledge, but go no further. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to uh, clamber up to the top and make sure I go no further. I'm going to stand on the ledge. All right. So Mary's a shrug and start climbing up there and try to find another spot not on the tile, but where she can get to, and then put Nelly on her shoulders. Are we ready to do this, Nelly? Should we get anybody else up on the ledge? Does anybody else need help, or can or should we do it? Well, I I, I can't believe I'm saying let's, this, but maybe we it. should go first. Let's do it. <laughs> so let's they know do it. Whether we're going to die Meat or grinder. not. Meat grinder. Okay, where am I stepping? So, okay, so so hang on. So are you guys going side by side, holding hands? Oh, of course not. She no. said no. Nelly. She just said that she's putting Nelly up on shoulders. Right. Okay. So. Nelly, as you're sitting on uh, Maris's shoulders, you notice that there's a similar pattern on the door. Um, and sorry, what of, door? Uh, sorry, you see that there's a door here. Um, okay. There's a similar four by four pattern, and on the bottom row, um, the 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 carving of the man is glowing. That's what you see. It's showing you where to step, maybe, eh? Maybe. Okay. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let uh, Marys know that, and uh, suggest that uh, we step on the corresponding tile on the ground. So you'll be step on the man. Yep. Sounds like it. Well, that's the man tile is the one that's glowing. Mm, I like stepping on men. Okay. So let's go. So I'll go step on the man. You step and you feel a little give in your step, um, but nothing happens. Okay, Sorry. looking at the door, do I see another anything new glowing? No. Okay, I'm going to suggest that it's the man tile again. Man tile? What do you think, what do you well, think she, Marys? She can't see the door, can she? No, no. she can't. So I'm going to I'm going to let her know that nothing else is nothing that nothing else is glowing. So we should probably continue on the man trend. 
And how confident are you in that statement there, Nelly? How confident could I be in that statement? I have no idea. We stand here and do nothing. We step on a man tile or we step on the other three. What should we do? Okay, I'm going to shout to uh, fellas. We stepped on the man tile first and we're okay. We're going to try to step on the man tile again and we may not be okay. We, I will let you know. And she steps forward onto the man tile. Uh, this one's a bit of a stretch. You manage to get your foot and find purchase and pull the other one on it. And again, you feel some give. And nothing happens. All right, fellas. When I step on it, there's a little give, but it doesn't give away. So I think we're on a roll. Nelly, anything else lighten up? Did you guys lose me? Uh, just gonna say, no, the door has not changed. Okay. Nope, I'm gonna say Donna Mary's. Nope, nothing's changed. All right. So I okay. Guess and Belly is going to. Uh, belly? There is no uh, Belly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Will is. Thank you. Is going to uh, cast uh, Fly on himself. <laughs> and he's gonna <laughs> take off. You fucker. <laughs> And he's gonna, just going to come up here so he can get a better view and watch <laughs> can, what's can, going on. Can... Sorry, guys. I'm getting robot from you guys. But unless Nelly says otherwise, I'm going to take another step forward onto the uh, man tile. Well... Um, Veli slash Will is uh, flying by, and um, Tikkuk is considering gra- trying to grab onto the leg. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear us, Brian? Yeah, I heard you. Okay. So, uh, as Will's flying over, Tikkuk tries to grab Will's leg. Um, I'm not sure how high you're flying, Will, but uh, um, can he grab your leg? Uh, I- uh, will is going to actively resist. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him. Good choice. Okay, uh, opposing strength checks, I guess. <laughs> oh, Tika. <laughs> He's eating his Wheaties today. We see the picture of Will, right? Probably roll one. It's all it's all show. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Apparently it's all Tick-ick, show. Yep. Tickick is wrapped around your leg. He like scrambles up, gets a claw on the end, like like you see those kids riding on their parents' legs and they walk around like that. He's on your leg. Looks up your leg and starts <laughs> humping a little. <laughs> Can you fly with Tickick weight on you? Yeah, what's the weight requirements of that spell? There there aren't one. I think as long as you can hold it, you can fly. <laughs> He's not holding anything. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, Lift. you can carry your... You're lifting weight. Yeah. Yeah. With a minus one strength. Uh. <laughs> uh, how much do you weigh? Right. Uh, according to... I don't know how to tangle this out probably, but uh, approximately 128 pounds. Really? That's a beefy-ass kobold. Oh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't I don't know. That's just what it says on the like for the Dungeoneer's Pack, Backpack, Cobra. Maybe some of these things are doubling over. Oh, that's your total weight. Oh, with all the gear, yeah. 182? 28, he said. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Will can't lift his gear and 128 at the same time. No, 128 is the total. total. Yeah, yeah. But, but Will also has all his gear. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure at a minus... One. One, you're not carrying, uh, your carrying capacity isn't 300 pounds. I'm pretty sure Will's running around shirtless, so he can't be you know, wearing that much. Right? Right. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I grab under his leg, and he just starts, like, falling down to the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Your call, Cam. I- 
I'm going to say you try to fly over and Tika grabs you, but you you begin to feel a drag on you um, coming from your leg. As you're trying to take off, but you're kind of just hovering in place. You're like a helium balloon with a string on it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> hey. right now. Cookie, let go. Am I right above you, Cook? Am What's I back that? here? Yeah, you're back there. Your your Tika is basically grabbing onto your legs, and you're kind of like uh, stuck in like no man's land. I'm gonna try to peel him off with my other foot, kick him in the head. <laughs> All right, give him a give him a, a boot. Give him a an attack a melee attack roll. <laughs> what would that? Um, it's just strength, strength, isn't it? Yeah, it's just pure strength. It'd be your it'd be your bare hands. If you have bare hands on there. Bare, barefoot. Oh, my AC is 16. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's, Hang- he's got a... <laughs> it's like squawking as you try to kick him. <laughs> yeah. Cookie, no, let go. Tick, don't, don't want to die. Cookie, let go. Let him go. I mean, do we make it back down to the ground? You're not... You're not- in the air yet like you grab them and you there's like a moment of lift but then you like weight them back down you're basically an anchor took us gonna let go <laughs> he wanted to get the fast way over <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be all like dejected like sad puppy looks like he's been whipped cookie remember what happened last time you went first <laughs> it takes like no what happened you got cut you're bleeding did i <laughs> <laughs> Look at your belly right now. <laughs> Looks at his belly. It's rumbling. Ooh, hungry. <sighs> All right, show off. Fly up there. Tell us what we're missing. Oh, I was just get, coming up here so I could watch you and whatever happens. <laughs> oh, you came here to watch? Oh, yeah. I, I got no idea what I'm doing. Fly, up, fly up that upper ledge up there. Tell us what's up there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think Maris would swear like that. Um, Maris is quickly learning how to swear. <laughs> Alright, so, so if, Will, if Will's not doing anything to help, then I'm just going to kind of shrug. Okay, Nelly, going forward? Going forward. Okay, step on the mantile. Which I think is the third row one now, three, right? mantile, yep. Third row, yep. Okay. Kev is pausing uh, way too long. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Just reading the you know the the death saves or whatever I, from the as, description. As you step on, I assume the next man tile. Yes. Yep. Uh, man tile number three. You you feel a give on man tile number three, and a, a wee click, but nothing happens. Oh man. <laughs> Clicks are not good. No, clicks sometimes are not bad. I mean, the click could make it so that whatever's in front of us is is going away magically. That's magic. Mm-hmm. Most thing it's ratcheting up. Every click is like, okay, it's going to be one more D8. One more D8. <laughs> if, if you step on a landmine, a click is a really bad thing. Because it means you uh, can't meat. step off. Meat grinder. Meat grinder. Yep. Yellow. But, but we heard the same click on the other two tiles, right? No, they just gave way. There was no click. No click. This is the first click. Oh, something something <laughs> clicked, Nelly. Fellas, something clicked. What do we do? Do we hear any? Do we hear any other sounds? Do we hear anything? Uh, no other sounds. Will Max wants to know if he can have Maris's stuff. <laughs> Will go back down there. Will's gonna be flying above him. Oh my god! What are you gonna do? <laughs> Well, you can either get up on that ledge or you get behind us. You're freaking me out. We we'll go up really up high in the corner up here. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Double click. All right, Nelly. So it clicked. You want me to move again? Do we have any choice at this point? I don't know. Do we change it up and go crocodile? Looking at the looking at the door, did the door change at all for me, Kev? 
Uh, no changes to the door. And so we heard the click, but we didn't hear any other sounds. We didn't feel a whoosh. We didn't, nothing else, just the click that Maris felt. And this wall in front of us, there's nothing special about it, right? Uh, no, it is just appears to be a ledge. Okay. All right, All right do it, Maris. Right. Do it. Step on the fourth man tile. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna cover my head. <laughs> With what? I got my I got my hands over my head, <laughs> blocking massive boulders. Uh, you step onto the next man tile, and this one is firm. Whew. This one's There's firm. Really hard. <laughs> and you don't hear. And you don't hear a click. That's what I wanted to hear. I hate um, this. I hate it. I hate it. How tall is this ledge in front of us? It's seven feet. Oh, so I'll let so, push me up. Push me up. Just step off. <laughs> yeah, you don't even need to push me up. I'm gonna take one step and I'm gonna stand up on the ledge. Oh, wait a minute. Don't 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 take your weight off me yet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna reach up and grab my, my the edge of the ledge with my hands. So oh, in case okay. everything like falls when he steps off of me. But I don't Good fall. Idea. So Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna step up on the ledge. Like okay. Um in front of you, uh you see a, a large wooden door. Uh there is no handle or latch, as you can see. Um Good night. Is the mantile still glowing? Uh, the mantile is still glowing, um, but you notice that um, there's kind of other marks in the door. There's um, there's two marks at the or there's two squares in the bottom of the door, and two squares at the top of the door as well. Do you draw it in the blackness? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll draw it for a second here. Mary's still clinging to the edge. Don't come up yet. Nelly's trying to figure it out. I think. You can Will, see that. Will's right? just watching. So uh, I can't. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, hang on. Draw it in the lit in the lit area area behind us. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see the middles of it, but I can't see the uh, I can't see the top and the bottom of it. Okay. Um, here, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to turn off fog of war. You put it over there. Okay. Yeah, if you do it down here, I'll be able to see it. There's lots of okay. lots visible down here. Okay. So you have a door. Yep, I can see the whole door there. Yep. Okay. I, can oh, I now the door's color? gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to change my color so it's a bit more visible. Uh, I found the purple was hard to see. Okay. So kind okay. of along the bottom, uh, you have the four representations of yep. the tiles that we found. You kind of have, you have uh, one tile here, uh, one tile here. You have a <laughs> tile here. Jesus. And a tile here. Okay. You have a tile here and a tile here. And you also have a kind of large carving in the middle of the man with a crocodile on his back. And the tile, the six tiles, the D six tiles. The, is the there D6 anything? Tiles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything in there, or are they just blank tiles? Um, they're just kind of carvings of the um, of the man's head with the crocodile head kind of sitting on top of it. All the same. All the same. And across the bottom is the four different ones, right? The four different ones that you Croc saw. Man, with, Flower Dino. Yeah. yeah. With the man one glowing. Damn you, Gary Guy X. <laughs> so what's the scoop, Nelly? Right. So I'm going to pass all that information down. I'm going to describe it. You being seven foot one, uh, my guess is that on your tippy toes, you can see that door. I don't know. Can uh, I? Have you? I thought you were up the up on the ledge. I am. Nelly, oh, I mean, like, are you guys gonna 
Maris is still holding on to the ledge, but it's at sh it's at just above shoulder height for her. Yeah, you can you can see the door, Maris. Oh, okay. Some of us are still down here. Let's stay down there, Cookie. Do not come up. <laughs> Will, are you going to do and something? Will would, Will would see this too. <laughs> Will's here. He's just Will going, do an ah, intelligence check so awesome. or a wisdom check or a history check or something, and figure out what we should do here. Need all of us that see that see it do some kind of a check or something, Kevin. Um, you could give me. I don't know what kind of check you would give me. Um, insight. Uh, da, 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 da. medicine, you could give... <laughs> history, maybe Arcana if it's magic. Uh, you could give me an investigation check. Anybody up here good at investigation? Well, I've got a plus. I got a plus one. Well, I got zero. Will? If I still had my uh, detect magic up, I could maybe do a, a good investigation. But now <laughs> I don't have it. Uh, are you in, are flaunt. you intelligence? Are you intelligence based? No. Uh, charisma. Oh, okay. I don't think I can Mary can it, cast though. detect magic as a ritual while she's hanging on a ledge here. <laughs> <laughs> on her yeah. toes. You know what I realized too is uh, Will has uh, detect magic as a ritual as well. Yeah, Mary's can't figure shit out. <laughs> 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 She's just going to relay back what she sees to the rest of the group back behind her. Does that mean anything to you guys? Eco, or whatever your name is. Um, she, she says, I've never seen this door before. <laughs> no shit. Sure um, <laughs> oh, you know what? Guide of the century. I'm, I'm not, I'm nominating her. Um, she, she says, perhaps if you, um, perhaps the door opens by touching the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah hey that's a great idea any idea what tiles we should touch <laughs> so I think that um, probably the best tile here uh, Brian is uh, is the man is the one that's glowing the man tile oh that's right one of them is glowing one of the man tile is still glowing okay then maybe if we push that one then it'll activate phase two yeah I totally forgot that one of them was glowing so yeah I'm okay with that. <laughs> Kev, do I get anything with the uh, 16 on investigation? Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, I uh, I made a slight error. Um, <laughs> Mary's is dead. Uh, <laughs> By the way, the door over here. Yeah, only uh, half of you are dead. It's a slight error. Uh, sorry, those the two middle squares there, they aren't there. And these four squares here, like on the outside are also glowing. Oh, no, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So the four all the way around are glowing. Correct. And they and they're all crocodile headed crocodile on top of man. Uh crocodile head on top of a man's head, yes. Think so maybe they need to all be pushed at the same time? Is the man tile still glowing on the bottom? Uh, yes, the mantile is still glowing at the bottom. Wow. <laughs> We're going to push buttons and take some damage, or someone's going to figure this out. <laughs> um, and Fred, what are you investigating all the way back there? I don't know. Um, no, Maris called out a description of everything she was seeing. And so my investigation is thinking, okay, that's like a puzzle. What could be? Uh, yeah, not 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 especially. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and the one in the middle is a symbol of what? The big one and in the middle. It's just like a, a larger fresco of the man carrying the crocodile on his back. Oh shit. It is not glowing, though. So I guess all of them got to be glowing. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. Should I be back up on your shoulders? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, at this point, it's going to be like pushing random buttons and see who dies first. Well, let's die together. Put me back up on your shoulders. <laughs> okay. I'll push the top two. You push the bottom two. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's what we're doing? I think so. Okay. We don't want to... We, we, we can't do this uh, paralysis analysis. We've got to uh, right. do it. So I got to climb up here. Will, get the fuck out of here. You're not d doing anything. <laughs> yeah, you truly are fly on the wall. There you go. Okay. All right. On the count of three. Okay. So you got it, Kevin. You got what we're doing here. Uh, could you run it by me one more time? Just I want to know exactly what you're doing. Yep. So I'm getting up on the shoulders of uh, of Maris again. Yep. I'm going to push the top two buttons and the top two tiles. Maris is going to push the bottom two tiles with me on Maris's back. Okay. <laughs> That middle one's going to bust out and knock us back down on tiles, and we're all going to die. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead if that's what you're going to do. Yep. Okay, I, done. Uh, what happens? So <laughs> you guys put your hands on the door. You feel some warmth in your hand, and the glow starts to get stronger. And as you guys push, the door gives and opens. No well, that's way. what I'm talking about. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> wow. Or that or Kevin's feeling some pity for us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or Kevin just wants us to get out of this seven square zone. <laughs> no, I'm all for it. All right. So it opens uh, up. What do we see? It opens up. Uh, ahead of you, you see a dusty floor. Um, the room gives way to uh, a 40 foot high ceiling. Uh, the 20 foot wide chamber is littered with dinosaur bones. Uh, webs stretch from the walls to the 30 foot tall central pillar coiled around which, uh, sorry, um, coiled around which is a narrow stone staircase. It steps covered with dust carved into the pillar are reliefs of a man carrying a crocodile. The reliefs follow the stairs to the top of the pillar on which sits a large, beautiful ceramic jug. <laughs> yeah, we let's got a get, jug. Let's get, let's, let's get everybody up here. I was like, wait, you want to bring Tuka within range of the jug? Yeah, jug him up. <laughs> How are we doing <laughs> this? Are we going to try to do the rope thing again? Or are we going to have Listen, him walk across the man tiles? If we were not going to let Tikkik do stuff, we would we would leave Tikkik down below by the feet, <laughs> and he could go sit on a big toe for a while. <laughs> Come back out. He's yeah. carved his name into the toe. <laughs> Tukuk was here. <laughs> so I guess. Those are flying up there. Can we move into that room, Kev? Uh, yeah, you can move into the room. Uh, I don't think we can. Can we? So I think you have to. Um. Oh no, we can. Oh wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And how do the rest of us get up there? <laughs> Will's been there the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So I guess. That's I was right here. Guys, we're talking about it. All right, all right. So you guys move into the room. Uh, you in the back. What's uh, what's going on with you? That's why Mary's came uh, back at her. Oh, She'll I, have a rope to I, help someone if they don't want to step shoulder. on the tile. Go ahead. Sorry. We. Uh, I'm gonna say somebody hop up them. I'll carry you across, following the same path that we, Maris did. So who wants I'll, to? I'll. Uh, I can climb up there. If and, and carry uh, Tikuk on my shoulders, I guess. Trex. Uh, Eku can also carry... Eku can carry Tikuk if you guys carry each other. Okay. <laughs> it's a fight. No, I'm on top. No, I'm on top. <laughs> uh, who? Which one? So, Fred and I... Fred, what is your... Uh, are you a human? Right. Fred, you're a human? Yes. Strength? 16. Yeah, all right. You carry me then. Got it. Step on the man tiles. One at a time. So, yeah, basically go across to the man tiles. I'll go across on his shoulders. Okay. 
All right, you make it across without issue. Um, Tickhook, uh, if you get on Iku's shoulders, you guys will do the same thing. Yeah. Tickhook clambers aboard. Oh, I thought Iku was going on Tickhook's shoulders. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think that's quite gonna work. You said these were dinosaur bones in here, right, Kev? Uh, yes, various dinosaur bones. I mean, nothing's still got meat on them, right? They're all like just dried out, like desiccated, or. Oh yeah, all dried out bones. Hmm. Seems kind of odd for the order. Uh, yeah, odd for the order. That's for sure. If they ever got this far. So uh, I guess we're going up these stairs here. So everything's dusty with no footprints, right? That's what you said, Kev. It's it's all yep. dust. Uh... I guess I made it this far. Might as well go up these stairs, right? Will, you want to fly up there? there? Yeah, <laughs> Will's sure. already up there. Will's already at the top. Oh, really? What do you got to say to that, Kev? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he now? Um, yeah, Will can float up to the top if he likes. Top of the staircase? Yeah, he can. It's a spiral staircase in the middle of a room around a right. pillar. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it, it was like a ceiling. It, it, yeah, the top is a pillar did, with a jug on it, right? Did yeah. you want to not do the rookie mistakes and actually search the room that we're currently in? I, up to you guys. <laughs> or, we wanna, or do we want to act like a level three party and just <laughs> zoom through? Search? What's that? Well, Mary's just got her holy symbol out. She doesn't like being around all these bones and shit. But yeah, she'll take a closer look just to make sure they're all dinosaur bones. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, give me an investigation check, I guess. Yeah, because that's Mary's thing. Uh, yeah, you guys are like, yeah, these are dinosaur bones. There's not really anything else about the room. All right. You don't uh, find what you don't look for. But Mary's just going to sit down right here and cast a ritual to detect magic. Okay. Um, you did. Wait a minute. Um, Wait a minute. Something. <laughs> Hold the phone. Or, or 10 minutes, as the case may be. Yeah. Yeah. So after your 10 minutes, uh, you do detect magic from the top of the um, pillar. Well, that jug is, right? <laughs> uh, correct. Uh, you also detect magic um, on. Coming from the stairwell or the, mm. the the spiral staircase in some spots. That's a trap. The staircase itself is magical, is what you're saying. Only certain spots, you said. Yes. Yes to which part? Certain <laughs> certain spots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, which would mean that the staircase is magical. Yep. So yes, yes, and yes. All right. So I'll point out to the group, but where I'm seeing this aura of magic on the staircase and the obvious thing at the top, which I think we all thought there was something special about it. So who here? Oh shit. We don't have a rogue. <laughs> Tickhook's a rogue. Is he? He's like a rogue. He finds traps. Like a, like a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> he, he finds traps. Tickhook's going to, um, can he reach up to the, the, the bottle? Can he climb up there? Uh, it's a forty. It's a thirty foot tall pillar. So he's <laughs> gonna hold on. Like, do, do we really want Cookie going up there? And he's gonna him try. Out? Oh god! Wait, 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 wait. wait there's an urn up. There. It's forty feet. It, it's thirty. So it's thirty feet high. The pillar. The ceiling's forty feet, and there's a spiral staircase that wraps around the pillar all the way to the top. Tickets is going gonna go up, 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 up. Brian, it's up, it's meat grinder. If up, he triggers something, up, then nope. he's the one up. that's. Uh, Okay, uh, hang on. Uh, back to your first stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the first five I, feet of the stairs? <laughs> yeah, your Four first arrows. five feet of the stairs. Uh, make me a deck saving throw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got this. Okay. Um, Mary's like, cookie, wait. Oh, too late. <laughs> Oof. Um, you take... Uh, Six points of lightning damage. From what? <laughs> uh, the lightning, of course. 
Yeah, as you step on one of the steps, uh, you have a shocking experience. But I'm bump. Is Will uh, still flying, or did his spell wear off now? He is still flying. Yeah. Tell, him to, tell him to go up and throw down the jug to us. Tickrick's going to be like, I feel all tingly, guys. And then he's going to take another step. Okay. Uh, he's going up another five feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. Your next five feet. He's going to go another five feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a deck saving throw. Oh, God. Uh, you take, uh, nine points of lightning damage. And there's magic right there. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like, I, I don't feel so good. Can and I see? He's gonna, just, like, he's gonna fall off the sides. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so you're at least ten feet up. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, 15, 15 technically, because he that's went five, one. got zapped. Five didn't get zapped. Five more got zapped. Well, yeah, that's true. that's circular, though, going. It's not straight up, right? Yeah. yeah. He's ramping up. I, I mean, I'm not. Listen, guys, I'm not math and I'm not numbers oriented here. So you're going to take three points of falling damage. The, <laughs> so Tick Hook is. A dinosaur <laughs> rib cage cushioned your fall a little bit. Tick Hook is. Um, he's a little bloody. And by a little bloody, I mean, you guys think he might be dying. <laughs> like, is he. Like, Gasping for breath at this <laughs> he's, point. He's looking he's, a little charred. You're, you're surprised he can walk? He's like, he's all frizzy and there's like zappy bits going between his scales. <laughs> Mary's going to stand with her arms crossed, just shaking her head. Do I need to cast Spare the Dying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Just just a little tingly. <laughs> okay, maybe next time you well, listen to me. Come over here so you get a better view. Sorry, what was that, Will? He's gonna come over here so we can get a better view. I would okay. rather that our I would rather that our flying character didn't just watch and actually flew his ass up there and throw down maybe, the jug. Maybe throw down, down the, the jug. jug. Yonder, there's a very nice jug up there. Why don't you go get it? Okay. I think Cookie already got rid of all the traps. <laughs> I can get that. How big's the jug? Um. It, it's like it's more like a it's probably like a growler size. Uh, if you guys ever buy uh, like craft beer or like a do we or a or a yeah. four a four quart jug of milk, roughly. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know what a quart is or what a jug of milk looks like. We only have bags and liters up here, so I'll take your word for it. But about for yourself, that size. speak for yourself, Easterner. We all use four liter jugs. Uh, oh. Outside, outside oh. oh, what what kind of Canada do you live in? That's atrocious. What? Uh, <laughs> the Americans don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, I grew up Ontario, yeah. Ontario and East all put their their bags are all in one liter. Their milk is all in one liter bags. They're in the same second as, as, as a last suit. And they have a and they have a special jug that fits that one liter that one liter tube. And we have a sp bag. and we also have a special uh, clip to cut the corner of the bag so we can pour the milk. Oh wow! Yes, I have seen these. It is weird. <laughs> it's efficient. I mean, I otherwise, you're... Yeah. do you do you hang the bags of milk from a lasso or how do you store them? Uh, no, <laughs> that's how we get them out of the fridge. We use a lasso to get them out of the fridge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it processed milk? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's pasteurized. Okay, um, it's the same. It's the same milk you get in the in the gal one gallon jug. They just do it in in essence four quart bags. Okay, is it full fat? Uh, we have a range available. Can be. Okay. okay, so just like everywhere else, then. Like it's the same as bagged water, guys. <laughs> uh, bag it's bagged water. water, right? <laughs> bagged water. I'm pretty sure I've linked this ima like images like this before to you guys. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying that there's bagged water and there's special containers that are like kind of rectangular and they especially have like a little spout swab that exactly fits the bags of water, or bags of milk. Pretty sure everyone's got them. Dear God, that's unholy. <laughs> it's a, it's a bag that goes in a rectangle container. Wow. Canada, what can you say? Right, it's well. really a. Uh... Go grab that jug, Will. 
that liter lassoed processed milk jug. Okay. That is weird, though. <laughs> I had no idea. That's what our milk section looks like, guys. You drink also, milk out of a pail. And this is only Ontario? Uh, no. no. Ontario, Quebec, I think, does it. You can the get Maritimes a question. does it. Yeah, the Maritimes does it. It's just basically Manitoba to BC. Yeah. And I assume Western, the territories Western, don't do it. Western Canada does not do it. You like you don't see as much of it here, but you can we have a lot of the like the plastic containers and that farmers, Scotsburg and all that, but you can still get bag milk. Yep. Actually our big our big revolution of milk here was uh Pure Life just got like a one liter almost pop bottle uh of milk. That's our big and revolution. The bags that he linked are bigger bags that have two of the one two, liter bags. Yeah, no, no, say no, the no, two no, bags no, in them. No, three. they got three. Three, three. three liters. There's, Sweet. They're like uh, one of those Russian nesting dolls. You open the big one, and there's three smaller milk bags inside. It's great. I love it. Also, uh, a four-liter bag of milk at five four dollars is almost the same price as a two-liter carton of milk. So it makes economic sense. And even the one liters are like still two two dollars a a liter. Man, you guys go through the yeah, milk, that, don't you? That would sell me. Ah. Uh, Sorry, that I took is. that to room. Yeah, that's crazy. It's great. It, if, you, if you did it, it would change your life. I hate using jugs and cartons now. I just hate it. Although I also drink a lot of milk, so maybe that's... Maybe that's Strong bones. Thing. So, Strong um, bones. back to this jug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the game. <laughs> so you, uh, right. you, you, fly up, you fly up and you're taking the jug? Well, I'm going to go ahead and look at it and see if there's anything that, uh, you know, looks out of place on it. If um... uh, the, the, the one thing that looks out of place is the jug appears to have many stoppers on it. Or corks in it, so to speak. Like many openings or just one opening with a bunch of corks stuck in the one opening or I don't get no, it. No, no. Um, like a couple different necks with uh, with a, each neck having its own cork in it. It's a large it's a larger jug. Um, it's not definitely something small. Well. When has there ever been a jug in front of your face that you haven't grabbed? Um, Analysis paralysis. Just pick it up. <laughs> well, I was actually just thinking I could just uh, use a cantrip. And while I'm up there, I'll go ahead and grab it. But I'll use... As long Sorry. as it's not more than 10 pounds, you're good to go. Um, yeah. So you go to the hand goes to lift the jug and it cannot move it. Oh. Well, jug, jug, I kinda, jug. Kind of like this jug, guy. Jug, 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 jug. Bill's gonna go up and pick up the jug. Come down to chanting jug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So you pick up the jug and I need everybody to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, yeah. See what happens when you touch the jugs? I told you not to touch that jug. That's the old exploding multi cork jug eight. trick. Oh, it's a cook. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> eight. Um, okay. Uh, anyone who got less than a 13. Uh, da, 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 da. That's how much uh, bludgeoning damage you take. And on a failed save, or on a on a successful save, you take seven points of uh, bludgeoning damage as bricks fall from the ceiling. Chico gets clonked on the head and falls unconscious on the ground. He's 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 down. <laughs> we didn't heal him. <laughs> you did. He even said he was bloody and crying and little tingly. <laughs> 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 He's right next to Maris. <laughs> One hand kind of breaks out from underneath the rubble, and she'll. Uh, so you're. I forget. Is this for your? I can click on this so I can read it. Sorry, guys. 
I think I'd be dead for me to do this. I have, no, I have zero hit points. It's the same place. Zero. All right, so you're stable. <laughs> Yay! I don't have to do that saves. <laughs> well, at least he's already buried. <sighs> That's it? Like the ceiling collapsed on us, or just like some bricks fell, or what happened? Uh, some bricks fell. Um, and you're not sure if more bricks are going to start falling. Let's get out of here. I'm going to grab Cookie. Does he have the jug in his hand? Will still has it, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, did... I guess so. I hope so. It yeah, when you picked it, it up. It didn't break with the Yeah, when you picked it up, uh, you held it in your hands. This is in your hands, yep. Fly out. Um. So how, what's your flying speed? 60 feet. 60 feet. Okay, so 30. Yeah, you can make it out in, I guess, one round of movement. Um, so everybody is rushing out. Well, Mary's <laughs> going to grab Cookie, but yeah. Does anybody want to go on anybody else's shoulders? <laughs> um, the longer you wait, the more bricks fall. Oh, Mary's just running. She's got Cookie She's wrapped around her neck. Take, take like a mink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nobody's going to pick up a little um, red thing. Uh, no, Maris has Tikkuk on, on on her shoulders. Or she's carrying him anyways. <laughs> Will's flying. All right. So Maris going on first. Step on the man tile with Cookie on her shoulders. And and behind you, you guys hear more more tiles. Um, so click, click, click. All four man tiles. Climb down. Step over. Shit, got the freaking pit. <laughs> Willie! Uh, and... <laughs> Willie, come back! I need you to catch my lasso! <laughs> and stick a kiss uh, on your shoulders. Can we go across the ledge? Uh, was that dexterity check or acrobatics? Yeah. Or? Uh, I, I, a 10 dexterity check. Okay. And sorry, um, who is crossing the floor? We all went on the man tiles across. Okay. No, we got no. Hold on. Whoa. Um, we have to have somebody on our shoulders to go across those tiles. Do we? Well, we, we don't, don't know, know that, that we don't. But do you want to try it? Looks like uh, Trex already did. <laughs> Same group makes it easier. Yeah, but uh, there's three of you. Where's Eku? Aku's Aku's on this side of the the floor. She never went. Oh, she carried you to the edge, but that was. Uh... I thought she took the kobold across. Uh, no, Maris uh... took the kobold. No, but on the way in. On the way on in, the way it was in. on the on the way in. It was Eku took me across. Yeah, it was yeah. Eku. Yeah. Okay, so she'd be there. So yes. So you guys can piggyback your way across the tile then. And then once we get to the pit, we can do the we can try to sneak across the ledge, right? Yeah. Uh, DC 10. There's a distinct what? chance that Tikkuk is kind of drooling on yeah. Maris. <laughs> okay. Could have used that when I had the falling bricks, but okay, I'll I take fell. it. Again. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the bricks aren't falling in here, right? No, but yeah, we, right. Have to get, we have to get across the ledge across to get across the pit. Yeah, that's why out. I yelled for Will to come back, so I could throw him the rope. <laughs> six, can... six falling damage for, for you, Fred? There's Nagrin. Oh, that's right. Both of them. Yeah. No, it was eight. eleven. It was no, ten no, saving throw. Sorry, Nalgrin. Nalgrin, you took you took six uh, falling damage. No, Fred, right. you're fine. Sorry. Pretty good. You can throw me the rope, uh, Maris, if you want. I'm in the hole. That's why Maris is standing here. <laughs> Evidently, Will's just flying over the hole, peeing on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So Mary's going to stay holding the rope, helping that. anybody out of the hole that fell in the hole. I guess she'll be the last one to try to crawl over the ledge if she can. Do you that... want me to uh, hold the other end of the rope? Would that help steady yourself as you go across the ledge or what? Well, just stay there. Don't leave me in case I fall in the hole. So did Nelly make it out of the hole using the rope? Uh, yeah, I'll say Nelly was able to make it. But, Nalgren, why would you make... Uh, anyways, you made it out of the hole, and now you have to cross the ledge again. Yeah, that's, that's why well, I the reason why I would make it across is because I've got a plus two in dexterity, and it's only a ten. 
I should have been able to make it across. I've been but... rolling really bad. <laughs> I thought everybody else was across. No, Maris hasn't gone yet. That's why well, I had it looks the rope. To me, see, it looks to me like Maris is in the hole. No, right? the, the, the hole is the hole of these four. Because the hole. Oh, see, I thought the hole was these four. No, no, that's these four. All right, all right. That's where the swinging blades were. All right, so Mary's is out. I mean, Nelly's out. So Mary's gonna try to climb the wall. It was Dex ten? You said for a Dex check. Yeah. Woo wee! Oh, you danced across. It's so light footed, you fur bulk. <laughs> I'm gonna plop uh, cookie down in front. Of, okay, everybody. I'll look around first. There's any no danger over here, right, Kev? Pardon? Kev, I'm in the. I, I'm back out of the hole. Am I on the right side now of the hole? Uh, no, because Maris would have pulled you up, and you were on. Uh, now you're on this side of the hole. Well, I gotta roll another deck save. Yeah. Son of a bitch! I would have stayed there and let him go across the rope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you silly dwarf! Uh, four points of falling. I'm not a hey. silly dwarf. I asked. Hey, Nelly. <laughs> no, everybody is way the fuck down by the feet, so I need to get out. Yeah, we're the, gonna to I'll toss the rope side. down. Yeah, I'll toss the rope down so you can climb <laughs> out on the side. On <laughs> this side, man, over here. No, I couldn't grab. For, it wouldn't let me grab my token for some reason. <laughs> oh, because okay. oh, Tickhook is right there. <laughs> there, Tickhook got plopped over here. <laughs> All right, I'm out. All right, so once everybody's within, you know, within five, ten feet of me, there's no danger. So my first question was going to be: no signs of danger around us. Then I'm gonna cast a prayer of healing. Uh, um, um, <laughs> well, uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, actually, so, um, well, you think there's no danger, um, an arrow, uh, <laughs> comes flying out from amongst the tents, uh, towards you, Fred. Yeah. And, Didn't you guys uh, check the tents? Check the tents. Yeah, we did. Son of a bitch. All the tents were empty. They were. That's operative term. Were empty is the key point. Were. Um, and I think that might be a good place to end off. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> Take a gun to the ground, freaking <laughs> drooling. <laughs> yeah, you're not making death saves. <laughs> true, it's it's true. You true. didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. But we will in the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mary's has 10 hit points. <laughs> Oof. Hey, Nalgren has 10 hit points. No offense, but if Mary's Maybe. dies, I think pretty much everybody's going to die. Oh, no, because uh, Trex is our druid. We hit. Yeah, Trex can heal too, but he's not. So he's got right, seven though. hit points, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that session. Um, yes. It was entertaining. And, yeah, it's and, like the puzzles. You guys, you guys solved the puzzles a lot better than my other my other team did. Um, I think it took them an hour to work out the door. <laughs> I mean, the final one where me and Nelly just okay, fuck it, let's try this. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much the mode I was in. Yeah, basically, it took them about an hour to work that out. Oh wow, was there more to it than just that? No, it, it's. I mean, I can tell you now because you you've just done it, but it was basically. Um, Uh, yeah, you just basically, with a person on your shoulders, one person needs to touch the top two squares, another person needs to touch the bottom two squares. Wow. That's it. What about the uh, tiles on the floor? Do they need to? Does it need to be? Did it need to be shoulders? Um. So the uh, I guess the hang on, I'm gonna da, 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 da. let's see. Uh. I'm going to paste this into chat and you guys can. Uh... <clears throat> oh, nice. None of the none of them. That means even the early ones. Oh, wow. Even the early ones. And to be fair, the, the early one had a 50 50 chance of being triggered. So when Maris said even uh, tick a took odd so one of them were go they're gonna trigger it so they both fell in um but yeah it's a 50 it was a 50 50 chance there and i think a 50 50 chance at the blades too so i guess that would have been the same thing going up the uh spiral staircase as well 
No, no, the spiral, the spiral staircase. It was literally glyphs of warding. So okay. you step on it, uh, you get lightning damage. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tingly, <laughs> really tingly. <laughs> Actually, the the worst one is is on the door here with this ledge. Um, if you don't do it properly, it actually activates a thunder wave spell, which knocks, knocks you all back, back, but knocks you back ten feet, which then puts you under the tile floor, which has its <laughs> own uh, spell that triggers. So, like that, those two alone would definitely kill one of you guys. Like if that got triggered. What kind of trap was it on the tiles? Um, the tiles was because I you are probably gonna steal this. Um, it was a uh, glyph of warding hang on one second here um of course on the floor uh magical flames blast out from the walls every creature on the terrace when the flames appear make a dc 13 deck save throw or take 4 d10 fire damage on a, Ooh, or half on a successful one damn so that's like 22 damage on average so wow it's a it's a it's a dirty little dungeon that one. Wow. Yeah. There, there, was there even there, we gotta we gotta urn that we don't know what's in it. Cool. I hope it was yeah, worth it, guys. Know, you don't know what the urn is yet, but or was. I mean, Tickers unconscious. Just start dr- making him drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Which stopper? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not gonna say anything on that one. <laughs> um, well, now that the, the alchemy jug is in your hands, I'll show you what it is. And the only thing I think is I think it actually tells you what it is in the player handout. Um, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> uh, oh, oops. I hope none of y'all heard that. Jug of alchemy? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what we heard. <laughs> okay, you, only, you only said it twice. <laughs> yeah. so you've, you've, you've named it a couple times, Tom. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh... It's possible that I already had Googled it before you even told me not to. Uh, oh, ask no. Me whether I'd seen it or not. No, as soon as you uh, said, like, all the stoppers, I mean, Brian was thinking that's what that's what it was. But Yeah, it's a, from my understanding is that it's a, a pretty, uh, a pretty uh, like, well-known item. Yeah. But nothing in there is healing. <laughs> Uh, well, it depends. Mayo can be pretty healing. Yeah, it's got, got mayonnaise. I mean, what the hell else do you need? Get some fries, you're good to go. Yeah, but it's two gallons of mayonnaise. That's a lot. I think yeah, that's why Costco lot. sells. We got a lot of fries. Or a gallon of wine. Yeah. Never going to go thirsty again. Although, Tickhook's favorite, you can get a quart of oil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, only gets beer, one, honey? It only gets one per day, though. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be careful. Tickhook also likes wine. Yeah, we can't let Cookie have this. <laughs> Every day one gone. gallon of wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, just, like, it'll just have like the, the spout in his mouth. And... <laughs> yeah, it's a total, that's a total Russian roulette jug for Cookie. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> We'll tell Cookie it's a, it's a poison jug. That's all it is. That's all it makes is poison. <laughs> yeah, then he's gonna be like spying on you guys and suspicious. One time you use it in poison like cooking oil or something. <laughs> no mayonnaise. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's poison mayonnaise. <laughs> Two gallons of mayonnaise would cover Cookie. Oh, wow, I don't want that. Uh, that's a not a good <laughs> Anyway, thanks for running this, Kev. Help, Appreciate help it, help man. The hot fun. That would be awesome. Sorry, yeah. what was that? I thought it was out in the hot sun. It would be awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the fun, guys. It was yeah. nice to have you, Wayne. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you oh, for the invitation. Thanks for being our surrogate Rand today. And Yes, uh, of course. And, yeah. Thanks. Uh, hope you guys had fun. And uh, I'll pick up the next time uh, Brian's traveling or whatever. I think I'm going to go away next weekend, so I can't run it. But uh, I'll see what happens in my life. Okay. Oh, so you're not going to be available next Friday? Cool. Uh, maybe not. It depends if I take Monday off. If I take Monday off, I'll be available. Okay. Good luck. All right. Cool. Have a good All right, thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, All right. Have a good weekend. All, All right. right. You too. Bye. Good luck, everyone. Bye.